Every dollar sent home from the diaspora by your loved ones represents their hard work and commitment to ensuring that you're all taken care of. That's why we want to ease their experience and make it more convenient. With Sasai Money Transfer, sending money from the diaspora is free and you receive the money straight into your EcoCash USD wallet, ready for you to spend and cash out for free. That way, you can receive money to help you alleviate the impact of the drought on you and your family. Buy groceries, pay school fees, renew your insurance, pay bills and more within a few taps on your phone. And you're guaranteed access to USD cash from any registered EcoCash outlet nationwide. Tell your family in the diaspora to send money with Sasai Money Transfer today. Let's fight the El Nino-induced drought together. EcoCash. Live life the EcoCash way. The views expressed by our guests in the following video are solely the opinions of our guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and or opinions of the Ola 7 podcast show. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello guys, my name is DJ Ola7 Owen, welcome to the Chief A Marshal on your number one podcast show in the land, the Ola7 podcast show on the spot segment, my favorite segment, I love this one the most, you know, I don't know why, but I love this one the most. <laughs> so on this show, we talk uh, to all the important people, be it the business, uh, you know, business world, um, entertainment, sports, politics, you name them. Uh, and, uh, you know, Nasipa Nababaraku Pisa, tonight, I have a very special guest. You know, one of the finest music, um, you know, talents in Zimbabwe, we have here in Zimbabwe, Africa, and the world, of course. Why not? And Nati Oliboy is here, and he has featured, you know, a number of uh, international artists, and, um, you know, been also featured on some of international uh, works as well. Muchanzo was Wakawanda tonight, Partiata Ranae. You know, Nati Oliboy, thank you so much for joining us, my brother. How are you? Blessings, Ola. Hey. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. How are you? I'm good, my brother. It's it's a pleasure, man, hosting you on this show. It's always a big pleasure. Same <laughs> way, man. Big energy. Wow, that's great. So you know what? You are an international. I mean, into into martial arts. You know, in into martial arts also. Is that part time or chitoji jago? No, ma your martial arts can't be part time. Martial arts is a way of life, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, for the sake of for the sake of just being an individual at a fit, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you need to be fit. Yeah. The kind of fitness I want, mm -hmm. I get it from martial arts. Wow. So it's an everyday thing. Mm -hmm. I train and exercise religiously. And uh, which belt do you have? Right now I'm working on my brown belt in karate. Mm -hmm. I'm working on my fist color belts in judo. Wow. Yeah. That's big, man. Yeah, you know, that's that's the way of life. Like yeah, I said, to yeah. me, I don't, uh -huh. yeah, I don't blow it out of proportion. It's the yeah. way of life. It's yeah. how I live. Mm -hmm. You know, a mind that exercises is by some percentage far more mm -hmm. efficient than the one that doesn't. Yeah. So part of the exercising that I want, that I require, yeah, is. Not to you. I get it from martial arts. Not not only are you into martial arts, but also into soccer as well. You yeah. Know? He's, 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 you're a sporty person, right? Exactly. Tell Bob, me more about that. Bob Marley was a soccer person. Yeah. Every great man you you know of loves soccer. Mm -hmm. So so is my trajectory. Wow. Uh, you, you see me, you see uh, the re reincarnation of Mali yes. in the African way, mm -hmm. in Zimbabwe. Yes. So I also play football. I love football. Uh -huh. uh, soccer relieves a lot of pressure. Soccer is joy. Soccer is happiness. Yeah. Football is greatness. So which number do you play? I'm a proper number <laughs> eight, proper number nine, proper number ten, proper oh. number seven. I play all those roles. Yeah. I would I would love to tell you that I'm versatile. I can uh -huh. do anything. Anything, right? Within that, but then I love to play 
as a left winger mm-hmm. cutting in from the right wow yeah <laughs> so you you do a soccer for fun not as a profession i do it for fun obviously because mm-hmm. i i do have a profession yeah so it's to say easy <laughs> yeah. but if if i had the time mm-hmm. if i was macho man if i was a proper superman mm-hmm. i would do soccer for for you know as, as, as to take soccer as a career part yeah. too but then i have what i love the most yeah i have w- what i can you know spend mm-hmm. days and nights sleepless hungry days and nights yeah. doing without mm-hmm. shivering wow and that's music so i like that so let's get into it my brother you were born and raised in Mbare. you know uh tell me a bit about your your background how was life uh you know growing up um in Mbare? Obviously, I will tell you the obvious that everybody, everybody else says, yeah, I, I grew up in the ghetto, you know, one in a million, one in a million type of situations where, yes, yes, you yes. know, my youths are no closer, mm-hmm. <laughs> I watch it on a different level. Yeah. My show, it's a one in a million situation. Mm-hmm. You have to be focused. You have to develop a different level, yeah. a different type of level of focus and determination. Mm-hmm. And that was me. Um, I never had it rosy, believe me. Mm-hmm. Just like everybody else, I never from the ghetto. Yes, things, life was worse. Life could be worse. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. tough times. Yeah, tough times, definitely. Mm. The toughest. I've survived yeah. the toughest. And being in Mbare, you know, sometimes people just, you know, they want to judge, saying this one is from Mbare, this one is from Borodio. Story of my life. I always see. I meet some type of yeah characters mm-hmm. and the mm-hmm. judge amuno based on where they come from yes you yes, see yes it was one of the silliest i've seen <laughs> you see because honestly speaking your father and your your father and your mother yeah. worked so hard from the ground mm-hmm. from where they came from yeah usually you are not over my streets mm-hmm. from the dungeon very true from the trenches very true and now i mm-hmm. and you are a privileged individual yeah you think you can judge me because i come from that <laughs> from the ghetto. you're crazy you're crazy <laughs> you can say that again you're crazy so which school did you go to finish my a level when boys i uh-huh yes i was i was a nomad <laughs> primary school uh, phase i was much of a nomad because mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. i would be in Bari, then i would be with my dad on the yeah. other side so yeah. i was moving in between places but my heart has always been mm-hmm. A proper Mbare youth, big yeah. Mbare youth, they call me. So tell me about your, you know, some your favorite uh, childhood memories uh, from Mbare. Man, <laughs> I'm I'm forever a child. Yeah. As far as those memories are concerned. Uh huh. So anything that happens in that area, mm-hmm. in that hood, mm-hmm. up to now, still is. A charitable memory. Mm-hmm. I go down there. I spend time with the guys I grew up with. Yeah. I go down there. I see the life like just like the way I used to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, some of my people mm-hmm. are long gone. They have died. Some oh. of my friends, the people I grew up with. Yeah. Some of the youths I I grew up with, I imagine they into drugs, and it's the dynamic. Yeah. It makes you see life with the right spectacle. Yeah. Because that's where life starts. You see some people. You know, yeah. Moving from ground zero to to the next stage. Mm-hmm. Some brothers I I grew up with who are now mainstream doing yeah. business. Some some uh, doing types of, types of success, different types mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. of specialities in life. Yeah. So I always go down there and I see life for what life is. Mm-hmm. You know, because Mbada is still the place it is. Very true. Most iconic in its own way. Indeed. And when I'm around now. Is not you. <laughs> I have a lot of youths that look up to me. Mm-hmm. So where are, where are you based now? I'm 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 within the 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 the, the, the vicinity still. <laughs> I'm yeah. close. Yeah. Because I I love to walk mm-hmm. and see my mom. Yeah. I love to walk and see my 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 relatives. Yes. Cool is and still. I'm yeah. still close. Mm-hmm. You know, within that that phase. Yeah. But not way. Wait, wait, wait! I, I could not Yes, true. But I still have access. I'm always Mbari if I yeah. get the chance to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you know, On which part of Mbari? 
I know my Jubek, I know my yes. Terrine, yeah, I know yeah. Barry Nish now, I ba- know yeah, the, store that, that, the store that side. Exactly, the store that side, yeah. Barry Nish now, the last side close to Adbeni. Oh yeah, yeah. I stay when I'm changing, the yeah, last I'm, line. I'm, I know I'm changing, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh. That's where I stay, that's wow. that's that's what, that's where I was born and bred. That's where I was born and bred. Because my uncles, you know, stay by... But I'm not away. Uh, right. I know. 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 Exactly. Even. Kwese. <laughs> 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 Gure <laughs> ndore du. Gure <laughs> ndore du. Really? Ah, kumbare ndu. That's, that's, that's. <laughs> you know, I'm barura. That's, that's, that's how we were raised. I like that. Mbarure ndu katu yins. My blood <laughs> moves. Bro. I like that. Yeah. I like that. So, your real name is uh, Carrington. Um, Carrington. Simbarashi Chiwadzwa. Yes. Right. Born in June, 9, uh, 1992. 22 yeah. June. Yeah, yeah. 23. Yeah, 23 Special June. Special number 23. 23, yeah. yeah. 1992. But you are known as Nati O. Mm-hmm. And you said before, you know, that you got that name, which is which call, uh, because you were quite mischievous, you know. What kind of mischief <laughs> were you getting up to? Yeah? Musical <laughs> mischief, my brother. It, it uh-huh. has to be musical mischief. Right. Like the name Naughty. Uh-huh. Nati, yeah, which was later Nati. Yo. Oh, Nati to Nati. Exactly. I, I get it. I get exactly. It. So they they used to call me the Nati operator, mm-hmm. the Nati outsider. Okay. Yeah. Why? Cause that's how I, I was musically. Uh-huh. You see, my I I I, I you see me. You, you hear me. You you, <laughs> you 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 try and meditate. Yeah. Yeah. You try to calculate yeah. how i move and how i be yeah you can only find it within the musical notiness yeah. that that that's how i used to be at school mm-hmm. you get what i mean yeah i get it maybe you would need some of my friends to explain to you <laughs> the other f- facets of notiness yeah i would indulge in but yo yo so sometimes you bank my lesson to to do my um, music, music right yeah yeah there was a time i uh, i was that much of a rascal because all I will tell you, the, uh, all I will tell you this in, in truth, mm-hmm. when passion takes over, yeah, nothing can come in the way. Mm-hmm. There, there were times I would choose to my my brethren's them yeah. eating the desk <laughs> and I'm singing. <laughs> yeah, the the times I would do that. Uh-huh. So to me, it's n- it's, it's not a crime. Yeah. It's just glimpses of 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 passion taking yeah. over you get what i mean yeah. it was necessary because were you not disturbing other students no uh-huh. other students were disturbing me <laughs> not you all. other students were disturbing me but you make noise right it's not noise yeah. music can never be noise <laughs> music is is therapy to the soul but there's time for everything right exactly but time, time for books time for music music is like water okay timelessness my brother <laughs> Look at the guy now. <laughs> the music. Yeah. I like that. Because everything else works with the music. Yeah. That's why you even see the vowels at school. Uh-huh. A, E, O, U. They're yeah. done in some, yeah. some choral manner. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Some musical manner. Yes. For you to understand things mm-hmm. from the bone. Right. Some musical aspect has to be within. Yes. Yes. And you know what? It, after A levels, you know, you proceeded here yeah, to study telecommunications yeah, yeah. and digital marketing. Yeah, now, yeah. why telecoms? And I, 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 I don't know how Jehovah God wired me, mm. but I, I remember before I, I stepped into telecoms, I was doing commercials at A level. I wanted to be an accountant. Yes. T- my taste but changed quickly <laughs> now i wanted to do uh, something, yeah something that was <laughs> tech somehow yes in telecoms you know because i have friends and relatives who are in that field oh yeah you get what i mean mm-hmm. so i was drawn to do it yeah later in the process now mm-hmm. that's when i started the music started booming yeah full time full time mm. are you out you would find me in the uk yeah on a tour at the same time, I have exams in June. Hey. Z. So, and that was an issue with my mom. Mm. And we sat down and, and I said, um, I would want to fully concentrate on what's bringing mm-hmm. me the bread right now. Yes. I know you've worked so hard to take me to school. Mm-hmm. Still are uh, working hard to make sure I look this way. Yes. But look now. I have to we, follow my passion. We sometimes are buying bread from this. 
Yeah. I'm paying X bills yeah. with this. Yeah. That means this is this is God sending a message that yeah. this is what you're supposed to be doing. Mm. So I'm going to have to pursue all of this. I, I, I might have to carry on. Yeah. Yeah. Concurrently do these things. Yes. Music and mm-hmm. the studies at the same time. Cause you but know what? You managed to finish. Um, um, I'm about to finish. I didn't finish. Honestly. Oh, I'm still, I'm left with the stage. Right. Yeah. Cause whilst I was still doing the telecoms. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm, I'm more interested in other things. Yeah. I wanted to do law. Mm. I wanted to Again. do, yeah, I wanted to do psychology. I found myself sometime trying to register for psychology at the University of South Africa. Hey. I stopped because now, uh, that was when I went to, M- uh, when I joined MTM, mm-hmm. right? Yes, those days. Yes, and it's the music now. It's yeah. the passion now taking over. So it's, it's like whenever you want to, to start something, music still exactly you know, i would still excel a level yeah, higher yeah, yeah. in the music mm-hmm. uh fast forward i did uh, i i say to myself mm-hmm. you know there is, as far as knowledge and wisdom is concerned mm-hmm. the, the pursuit of knowledge it's yeah. a bottomless pit my brother mm-hmm. you learn every day true because uh, as an artist the more a juiced you are mm-hmm the better you become. True. And I feel like I need to educate myself every time. That's why mm. I did digital marketing. Wow. Because I use these tools mm-hmm. in my music. Yes. Yeah, but, but I want to find out from you, uh, Natio, is this field helping you in any way in your music career? I mean, the telecoms? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, How? in telecoms, we, 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 we do a little bit of sound. Mm-hmm. We understand sound. Yeah. We, we do electronics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Everything here is... Electronics. Electronics, true. If there is a food somehow, I, yeah. I know how to... To fix that. I, I know how to tweak the mixer. Mm-hmm. I, know, I know how to tweak the sound. Yeah. I will tell you about interference. Yes. I will tell you about cabling. Yes. Yeah. The, the dynamics within why the sound, the amplification of the sound and yes. all of this process. Wow. It's detailed. Mm-hmm. And it's helping me because I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know what's happening here. I know what's happening <laughs> from the electrical point of view uh-huh. to... to to, to 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 the sonic mm-hmm. to the sonical point of view i know and the background is telecoms mm-hmm. i understand frequencies yes yeah i understand you know what ha- what's happening why are we we online <laughs> the networking <laughs> exactly. i understand all of these things wow so it's big. helping me that's big so now um you know tell me about the foundation you know of your music career and also at what age did your interest you know or rather love for for music start like i told you there are always glimpses of the passion. Mm-hmm. If, you, if you look at your child right now, yeah. you always see that uh, what they love the most. Mm-hmm. There are always glimpses of what they love the most. Yes. And that's passion. I've always been a musician growing up. I was born doing this. Mm-hmm. I used to sing for my mom, you know, bed lullabies. Yes. <laughs> I used to sing Jakarta songs. They used to call me Jakarta when I was a young kid. Wow, what I'm going. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, Jakarta was my favorite artist. <laughs> I see. Apparently, yeah. Uh-huh. I used to sing. Mm-hmm. Any opportunity I get, I would be singing for my peers in the streets at school. Mm-hmm. I would be singing. I would mimic Chris Brown. I would oh. mimic all of them songs. Mm-hmm. Do my days in my auto books. Oh yes, Those get days. what I mean. Yeah, I remember. I would sit everyone down mm-hmm. and tell them what was being sung. I would yeah. explain the lyrics. What at that age? Yeah, that was Jeez, me. That's I, I was that person who would tell yeah. people. Uh, yeah, yeah. I've a bargains here. I've a bargains here. Yeah, you get what I mean. <laughs> and um, <laughs> and I remember there was a guy in the man soldier. <laughs> Yeah. As an elder. Mm-hmm. It is young. Mbari. Yes. So I used to, he, 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 he liked me. He liked my persona. Mm-hmm. So every time he was around, you'd call me and say, yo, you'd come, ca- come around. Mm-hmm. I'd sit next to him. He would play me some right. reggae music. Mm-hmm. Sanchez, Garnet Silk. You get what I mean? Yeah. I, I got accustomed to reggae music yeah. and dancer and I loved it the most. Yeah. To a point where I'm going to dub it on my cassettes. Oh, yeah, those things. Yeah, exactly. But then, Pago. So you'd find me, and then a collection, and then a big ragaiba. Yeah. yeah. More than they took it to a one's, can I clash your tongue? Oh, yeah, I'm going to be a big ragaiba. And usually, I, I used to have the music because 
and on September now they would give me the music. Mm, yeah, that's how this. So in the ways you grew up listening to, you know, different type of music like exactly. reggae. You mentioned Jakarta. You mentioned R&B, Chris Brown. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I'm, a, I'm a proper R and B kid. Mm-hmm. So why did you choose this in a genre? Uh, it's the in like, like you always gravitate to what speaks to you mm-hmm. the most mm-hmm. the energy yeah reggae and dance or music mm-hmm. is all about the energy is the music for, 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 for the people yeah is 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 that is the testament for the people mm-hmm. the struggles the happiness yes everything is more expressed better with the reggae and dancer yeah yeah is the music for the ghetto mm-hmm. you right yeah i like that when you say exactly yeah reggae music is the gospel of the ghetto mm-hmm. and i am a ghetto youth mm-hmm. i would gravitate to that music more but it doesn't mean i'm not influenced more by other genres yes because you would see everything else is connected mm-hmm. reggae music being the root you would still have some soul in it yeah. some r&b in it some yeah. hip-hop in it Re- mm-hmm. dance and reggae itself yeah. Yeah. it's a foundation for many genres mm. including hip-hop so everything is connected in one mm-hmm. But me, as a, as a ghetto youth, as a youth, mm-hmm. born and bred in the slums, yes. I would gravitate more to reggae and dancer because that's how I would express myself. Mm-hmm. That's the demeanor. Yeah. That's the aura you find yes. when you see me. Yes. You see? Yes. Exactly. You know what? Uh, the generation of our parents is not really big on children, you know, uh, pursuing a career based on passion. What else am I going to say? Even growing up with Darren, there's a balance. There's a chitaka chitaka. Why do that? Story of my life. Exactly. There's a chitaka chitaka. Story of my life. So, what was your, you know, your family's reaction when you started getting into into the industry? Uh, we used to fight me mm. and my mom. Up to this point, yeah. If you see Mama AVX, you know that topic comes in once in a while. Up to this point. Up to this point. Once in a while, we're on the table. <laughs> <say>. We're okay. <laughs> Yes, the music is going on well. Yeah, she yeah. likes it. She, she's like, proud. Yeah. And he's like, hey, sorry, wait, wait. what was with you? I was no pain, sir. Degree. <laughs> you get what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. When is the school thing going on? Okay, what are you doing now? Yeah. What, what are you reading now? Yeah. What, what are you planning to, to, to pursue as far yeah. as, you know? Uh-huh. Then, yeah, that's, it's always the conversation. It comes in. Yeah. And my yeah. mom never used to think, Music was something I could take serious mm. as a career path. Yeah. And that's a problem with many of our parents. Mm. A generational gap. She, she loves the music. Exactly. She's my number one supporter now. But she's really concerned about the education side. Yeah. But you know what? It doesn't mean that what I'm doing <laughs> is wrong. It's wrong. And yeah. what I'm doing is not even better yeah. than what she wants me to do. Uh-huh. You see, generational gap, yeah. which comes with each generational um, I would say this generational gap comes uh-huh. with uh, divorce in 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 certain mm. in certain ways ways yeah. divorce and knowledge mm-hmm. as far as what 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 really this is because music right now I'll tell you mm-hmm. tell me a career better than music mm-hmm. I'll wait <laughs> all I say <seven. laughs> tell me a career more exciting and more fulfilling than music I'll wait. Mm, yeah, but music, I'll still, I'll still pick music. Tell me a career part that is more fulfilling than music. I will not go to more rewarding because, you know. Because I, 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 I'm, I'm thinking right here, if you're an account, account, accountant, you see an accountant putting in maybe earphones, headphones, listening to music. Everything else revolves around music. Yeah, exactly, that's the thing. Music is the soul that's of... That's the thing, yeah. Yes. So... Even Barack Obama loves music. There is a Barack Obama list like top as, list as, every, every as, year. As long as you have flesh and you have blood yeah. within your veins, yeah, music is the backbone of your soul. Yeah, is it? Yeah, biblically, mm-hmm. weren't we told that the devil was a musician? <laughs> Even David. <laughs> Let's speak of the devil. Yeah. Let's say, where were you told that he was a musician? <laughs> okay. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Yeah, we we were told that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's. God's spirit son, one of God's spirit son at some time, was a musician. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure you, you explained this to your mom, trying to convince her. <laughs> so that no, no, no. I never, I, I never tried to convince her because you know the last time she heard I was playing on radio. Yes. I was on Boroa, because I was still at school. Yes. In I don't know, mom's Evia, I don't know, 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 I don't
na eta tan hanzi ah what mm. is he but no it's a beautiful story now because yeah. that's the beauty of the story because yeah, now exactly. we're here mm-hmm. now when she calls and say yo bill a b c d must be paid mm-hmm. i pay yeah and through music you know what uh, not all to Every, the work of my hands everyone in life you know has that one person you know who gave them a chance uh, when no one would uh, one, 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 believe him. but there is also always one, that one person and ngari people are not believer in what you are doing what in your talent so who was that you know first person to recognize that there was something unique about uh, about you i would say this ola god did mm-hmm. god did mm-hmm. and i did too and i'm the first person who believed in natio right i am still the number one person mm-hmm. i'm still the number one person who believes in natio everybody else you see saying ray 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 they did it after me and god <laughs> yeah but after, okay after god after natio yes who else man it's crazy now cuz all are seven now work to zero don't in natio yeah so i don't know if you believe she believed in me before or you now believe because i'm now not here uh-huh. so i'll tell you nobody i i i i'm still that person who right now i'm up to this time or like there's still people who don't believe in me yeah 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 true there's still people who don't believe in me mm-hmm. even it's evident yeah even if it's evident that i am who i say i am uh-huh. i am who god said i am mm-hmm. there's still people who still don't believe yeah I'm doubting thomas left and right and center true so it's fair to say I am the person who believes in Natio and I still am the person who believes in Natio because right now if I tell you I want to get a beat I want to get a Grammy mm-hmm. if I tell you I am one of the baddest artists in Africa yeah who believes that Natio yes mm-hmm. and who can believe that without shivering it's Natio exactly in God but but, but your fans as well and yeah in your, your support system yeah yeah Shout out to my fans and shout out to everybody else who follows Natio and loves Natio. Mm-hmm. But I tell you they have to believe after I believe. They all came after me. Mm-hmm. They all came after I believed that. You know what? Mm-hmm. Ooh, when I don't say Natio, when you can't say you yeah. can believe in this person. Uh-huh. I had to convince them. I had to prove them that mm-hmm. they, this this is a working model. Yeah. So, it's a little difficult. Yeah. Cuz like I tell you when i before the mustard seed i don't know who was an against my ideology <laughs> yeah it was me and tamuk and pablo mm-hmm. in xq yes as against the world mm. we in our own little setup we believed in what we were doing mm-hmm. and everybody else thought we were mad which is no more cuz honestly speaking when we speaking of greatness mm-hmm. For you to understand, for you to recognize greatness, mm-hmm. is actually a skill. Yeah, and not everyone is skilled. Mm. Not everyone is Zidane in that aspect. Mm-hmm. So it takes time. You have to teach people. Yeah. After the mustard seed, everybody else is a believer. Everybody else is a Natio fan. Even the enemy, even the one who they now love you. Yes, they now coming to the table. They're like, "Yo, we believed in you. We yes, saw this." Yes, that's life. Mm-hmm. But biggest lesson, biggest take out: mm-hmm. believe in yourself. You alone can believe in yourself mm-hmm. first. You alone can push yourself to your limits first mm-hmm. before everything else. Great, and uh, you know your talent caught the attention of experienced um, music producer. Um, Funky Dalek, and also, how did you link up with uh, Cash Lips? Cash Lips is my Cash Lips is my father, because mm-hmm. Cash Lips is the first producer to give me an opportunity mm-hmm. to record professionally. Mm-hmm. 2014, 2015. Wow, way back, way back. I was looking for other people. Mm-hmm. My attention was somewhere. Mm-hmm. I had people I had in my mind. Yeah. I thought this person was going to help me and give me the the opportunity to do what I want to do because mm-hmm. I want I needed that. Yes. Those people didn't turn up. Mm-hmm. Cash Lips instead was the one who gave me the opportunity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. First dollar, 2 dollar. Uh-huh. Basfe I got to your 
he should come thought. and record mm-hmm. for free two rhythms. Mm. Come and record for free, my youth. Yay. You have something in you. Mm-hmm. I want to push you. I want to work with you. I want to see you realize wow. your dreams. That's big, man. That was Cash Leaves. From Cash Leaves, I don't see how Kenako. Desmond Gwaza took yes. me in. Mm-hmm. Kenako era, you know? Yeah. Fast forward after Kenako XQ. Mm. That's when I met my father. Now. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. XQ took me to... MTM mm-hmm. along with Tamuka. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And fast forward MTM mm-hmm. mushroom. And here we are. Mm-hmm. We're still mushrooming. We're still seeding. Yes. Yeah. We are the cornerstone. We are that stone that the builder refused. Mm-hmm. And you know what? In 2015, um, your chart topping hit Kwanda Bakure. In 2015, gained international recognition. What kind of impact, you know, did this have on you? Powerful. Mm. The word is powerful. Uh-huh. Cause I'm just a youth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you yeah. don't know what life has in store for you. Yes, that's very true. Mm-hmm. You don't anticipate to hear that song playing mm. BBC radio. Hey man, that's big. That's big. Yeah. 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 Get to you the dreams, the ambitions. Yes. Yes. Yeah. BBC radio one extra. I got a call. See? Mm-hmm. A lot of people reached reached out to me and say, yo, we're listening to your song on on, on, on radio. The UK, wow. BBC Radio. That's big. BBC is not a job, man. Those are blessings. Yeah. And we must acknowledge those things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is, is, is some, someone might say it's, it's a little. Yeah. Uh, someone might say it's not a big deal. Yes. But honestly, Ola, you cannot just wake <laughs> up and play on BBC Radio. Uh, it's not possible. Yeah. It's not possible. Over. You know, who are you? Yeah. There are a lot of youths out there. There are a so lot of people. Who, who submitted your music to the BBC? You didn't? That song, mm. honestly, that song. I don't. I. I. It's not. I. I. I don't. I. It's not me. I didn't submit that song. Mm-hmm. Someone did. Yeah. Someone did. I. I've forgotten who submitted that song. Yes. If it's not Tapo Nesqua, mm-hmm. if it's not King Alfred, mm-hmm. if it's not, it's, it's someone from my UK community yes. that time. Yes. Yes. They said mm, this is Dara Tindo. Yeah. There was Mdara Tindo. There, there, there were people around me yeah. at that time. Mm-hmm. A community of people in the UK who yes. believed in me and mm-hmm. were like, yo, yeah. Natio, you uh-huh. will go far. Between Mdara Tindo, Tapones, King Alfred, that community, yes. someone submitted my song. Do you still talk? Do you still talk with those, uh, those guys? I work with Tapones. Mm-hmm. That's forever. Right. Right. Mdara Tindo is family forever. Uh-huh. King Alfred is family. Yeah. Even though, yeah, you know, We've had our ups and downs. Yeah. Family still. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I still, you know, I'm not problematic. We've had hiccups with, um, you know, some problems with King Alfred. Maybe tell us about that. No, no, no. We've not had problems. We've had our communication hiccups. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, there are times when we, we, we were not communicating. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, whenever we're not communicating, mm-hmm. it's problematic because yeah. a lot of things get lost mm-hmm. in translation. Mm-hmm. Very true. But me and King Alfred are family forever. Yeah. That's Congrats. that's one of my first daddies to play also a role in Natio's career. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You mentioned about uh, your song being played on BBC. You know, didn't that uh, give you so much pressure? You know, good, ah, this product, you're fire. Now I need to work extra hard, you know, on the next project. No say compressor pressure. In a project there. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> okay. Exactly. So it actually gave me the the energy I needed. Uh-huh. It's called impetus. Mm. It was the impetus. Right. It was the propeller. Right. It gave me the right mm-hmm. energy and the right, um, what would I say? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, the right aura to 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 do more, mm-hmm. and also confidence to say, oh, if BBC uh, could admit, could this is 
pure talent so that's why up to this time Ola 7 sorry to say this mm-hmm. up to this time there is no individual fit enough in this zimbabwean space to tell me that i am not who i say i am mm-hmm. because kosa inyanga kutanga rava bbc bbc right so if you are from i don't know which uh, other <laughs> faculty radio <laughs> faculty or yeah. media faculty or i mean as uh-huh. long as you're zimbabwean you're operating from this space mm-hmm. you do not have the strength and the power the authority the know-how the privilege and the guts to tell me that i am not what i say i am I like the confidence exactly i like the energy So in 2016 your single Do It Alone received um, airplay you know on Jamaica's uh, Sun City Radio. Yeah. That's another big thing man. Another milestone. That's 2015 2016 all exactly. seven. Yes. 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 Another milestone. Mm-hmm. Tamuka Production. Wow. Later on Do It Alone mm-hmm. was featured uh, I got another feature there. Yeah. Itana feature on that song. Hey. As as a remix. That's big. Yeah. And Itana from Do It Alone gave me a feature that later featured on I'm oh. sure you were coming to that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's big. This is big now. And uh, the same year you did a collaboration with Jamaica um, Jamaican Chilando. Chilando, yeah. Chilando, yeah. How big did producer, you Big producer, big brother. Yeah, how did you link up? I remember Chilando just hit me up. Mm-hmm. I think it was through cuz you know what happens now with the music. Yeah. Like I say to you the the If the music is that good, mm-hmm. it becomes water. Yeah. So it moves. Mm-hmm. And no one can stop it from penetrating yeah. through you see. Mm-hmm. It will move, it will go yeah. into places you yeah. don't even know. Very true. Places it will provoke, mm-hmm. it will evoke, it will do all sorts of things. Yes. It will attract. Mm-hmm. It will even distract. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It will do all sorts of things. That's music. That's music. So when when all of that is going on mm-hmm. with all of the hype and all of that traction real will always recognize real so you came maybe through Instagram whatever or someone I don't think I was even big on means we were not in, on, on Instagram those mm-hmm. days mm-hmm. it's through Facebook mm-hmm. and WhatsApp already mm-hmm. but then I just know I got the link mm-hmm. I got the link and Chilando reached out up to now Mm-hmm. 20 fast forward 20 last year yeah 2023 i was on chilanda's album too wow yeah he reached out to gave me another song we always mm. talk from then i've not lost the link yes. it's one of my jamaican links my mm. first jamaican links so uh, tell me about the experience how was the experience working with chilando it's always a beautiful experience or uh-huh. to work with people who are outside your yes. paradigm yes yes you're working with someone who is already accustomed to the business and you're not yeah so what happens you appreciate in knowledge mm-hmm. you learn things yeah and once you learn you finally changes mm. it's a and person. you know working with uh, chilando working with um, you know those guys big guys from jamaica it's just a plus it's a plus always mm-hmm. because these people are within yeah. the desired space very true we are working to reach into that space you so, know what? In 2018 you shared the stage with Jamaican artist Charlie Black, you know. Um well, he is not only the one you have shared the stage with. We talk of our Pat Ranking, Demarco, Mr. Easy, you know, um Casper Novest. Tell me about the, you know, this experience. Beautiful experience because you know, from that time when international artists come to play in Zim. Mm-hmm. The Zimbabwean community chooses mm-hmm. who they want to to be part of the lineup to be part of the lineup yeah. and that has always been the case with mm-hmm. me so every time Casper Newvid comes there's Nati O find Nati O Charlie Beck comes Nati O you know yeah. Pater Rankin you know Pater Rankin is my brother you is fit my... in so well because they they think or they see the the star in you the international you know vibe in you the the right word is oneness oneness you said something there you yeah. fit in yes you see mm-hmm. but the, the the word is oneness, oneness. when pato rankin listens to my music mm-hmm. there is no difference yes so it's i you always identify mm-hmm. your stripes mm-hmm. mm-hmm. pato rankin himself was the one who suggested me on the lineup wow to the promoter yeah Shout say out. i i need 
Shout Nat out to Case Connect that time. Mm-hmm. Pat Rankin is the one who told Case Connect to put Natio on the lineup. Hey. And he declared that if Natio is not on the lineup, I'm going to be filmed. It's not it's going to be a problem. <laughs> Yeah, so is that a, I mean, a confirmation that you're one of the international artists now? It's not, it's not just only confirmation. Uh-huh. 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 My worry has a kind of world cup. Uh-huh. Uh, can I know what got back to the world cup at the international level? Uh, uh-huh. at the world cup. I see Kosaf. <laughs> Okay, it's not longer Kosovo now. Nigeria I got win a World Cup. Uh-huh. My players are team Monomati Machi. Eh, uh, at some my international stuff. Yeah, you know you are, you are, you are referred to as a World Cup winner. World Cup winner, yeah? Is is it not, is that not true? It it is true. So if Natio sing with Demarco, mm-hmm. sing with Stone Boy, mm-hmm. Sing with Pato Rankin, yeah. got co-sign from Pato Rankin, <laughs> was in BBC Radio One Extra several times. It's been to many spaces that are not from Chinoy or Kambuzuma. <laughs> what do you call me? International. Yes. You've gone international, my brother. I'm playing within that sphere. So Undisputable. I know, we can't dispute Can you that. dispute, we can't can you dispute, dispute the work I've done? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of collaborations, uh, tell me about your relationship with uh, DJ Tamaga. You mentioned that earlier, you know, just touched a bit. Uh, but tell me about your relationship with um, DJ Tamaga and your journey to, I mean, you two have uh, traveled together. Tamuka's family. Mm-hmm. I speak to Tamuka every day. Mm-hmm. Tamuka called me four days ago and said, "Yo, I found it at three days. It's now Tauri. Oh, exactly. What's happening? Exactly. Exactly. Where, where is the money? You are that close. We are that close. Mm-hmm. I know what Tamuka eats. Yeah. I know when Tamuka is not eating. Yes. Uh, I like person, that. The first person they would call if Tamuka is down right now is mm-hmm. me. Yeah. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's how we are. We are family. And, and, and I, I, I also think that it's it's also good to have a good relationship with um with a producer, not just a studio session re- that uh, is relationship. The, that is that's that's the the luckiest thing mm-hmm. about my situation. Yeah, the people I work with are my family. Mm-hmm. I work with family. Yeah, Tamuka is family. Excuse family. It makes it easier for everyone. Anyway, it, it makes it. You see, excuse knows what I wear. Yeah. It knows the shoes I want right mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. Shout out to puppies in Germany. Mm-hmm. Probably has bought me some extra pairs <laughs> of shoes. Oh, yeah. He knows what I want. Yeah. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's how close we are. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean? Yeah. He knows when I'm frustrated. He knows what makes me angry. Mm-hmm. He knows how to aggravate and provoke greatness out of me. Yeah. That's how close we are. And that has been my biggest advantages. Having family mm-hmm. in my circle. And the, these family that I, I tell you about, mm-hmm. they're all superstars. They yeah. all, that's the cream de la cream of Zimbabwe. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? On your album Cornerstone, you know there wasn't there was no Tom Hooker. Yeah, uh, on Cornerstone. Yeah, social media went ablaze. You know, people speculating that uh, maybe you and Tom Hooker, you know, no longer in good books. Chichi, people talking. You know, people talk. And what happened to that relationship part time you on that um, project? Nothing happened to the relationship. Mm-hmm. You see, because Tom Hooker was there when I was creating the Cornerstone. Yeah, I was in the loop. Mm-hmm. Conscious decision. Mm-hmm. To do it that way. Yeah. I felt like as a pioneer, mm-hmm. you must pioneer. Yeah. I brought people mm-hmm. in that had never been brought in to be on the forefront, mm-hmm. to be on the forefront. Yeah. That's how we grow the industry. Mm, very true. I like that. I have time, Ola, mm-hmm. to do this. Mm-hmm. And now I'm doing it now. So it mustn't be a problem. Mm-hmm. I took kids that I believed have the potential to take our music to the next level. Mm-hmm. When are we going to give them the opportunity to, to, to showcase mm-hmm. if we only stick to what we used to? Yeah. Everybody knows when I sit down with Tamuka, I murder things. Mm. But I also want you to know that if I sit down with someone who's not Tamuka, I can also murder things. Mm. And this has to be channeled with the right energy. Yeah. It's me creating a fortified mm-hmm. foundation yeah. for the industry. Now, you know that you can work with 053 from mm-hmm. Cheguto. He's a bad producer. You know mm-hmm. you can work with Pablo. Mm-hmm. You know you can work with Naspa. Yeah. Bad producer. You know you can work with Jerry Speed Fingers. Mm-hmm. Yeah? You know you can work with Infinity. You know you can work with JMP. Yeah. Who knew that 
What, what was that the norm before? No. No, but now it is. Yeah. That's the point. Let's go and get the bread and let's go together. Mm. In, if we reach to the bread, let's pull one or two or three people. Yes. Varuko koga to vai safiti pa platform so that we get stronger. I I I like what you said. And also early on you said Nigeria mm. yatu yatu no da guita compete with. I want this. Kote zokutamba. And they are not gonna listen. <laughs> you see, and every year, yeah, there is new crop of artists yes, coming in. Yes, there is new crop of producers mm-hmm, coming in, mm-hmm. and it's the responsibility of the artists and the mm-hmm. people who have been there before yeah. to groom and mold these people. Yes, true. So you give opportunity. That's what I did on mm-hmm. the cornerstone. Mm-hmm. So you, you give others the chance. Exactly, and I will tell you, people always be people. Yeah, opinions don't matter. Mm-hmm. Opinions don't buy bread. Oh yeah, true. Facts do. And you know, earlier on you mentioned about um, not, uh, XQ, and you refer to him as father, my father. He's my father. Tell us about your relationship with XQ. Exactly, father and son. Mm. That's father. the relationship. Yes, I, I'm XQ's son. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm just a puppy. That's why people call him puppy. Yeah. Yes. So in case you never know why mm-hmm. he is puppy, mm-hmm. he's my pupa, he's my puppy, he's my father. Mm-hmm. That's our relationship. I'm his son. Wow. Soon, part of the project, the child and on the father and son. So when you say he's your, like, your father, He's like your mentor or maybe along the way, I mean, music wise. He's, he's all of that. He's a father figure in my, in my life. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean? Yeah. He is the mentor. Like you say, mm-hmm. he's the leader. Yes. He's the overseer. Mm-hmm. He's the director. Yeah. And a friend. Mm-hmm. See? Yeah. Man, I'm, 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 I'm never depressed. <laughs> I have, I have, Papi, I have Tamuka. He's just a call away. Just call uh, away, man. Papi. Let's go play for you. Yes. Let's yes. go eat. Let's, yo, mm-hmm. let's go find some fun. Let's do some fun. Let's do this. Let's make music. I like that. And Papi has always been behind mm-hmm. my production. Nice. Do I know arrange, arrange. Could you just do the ball? Yeah. And it doesn't need credit for it. Mm. Just that. Mm-hmm. And of all of your, I mean, my producers also are question now from all those you have worked with. Wangati, who is the best producer? Dian. <laughs> I, I can never say who is the best producer <laughs> all I seven. Yeah. That's because that's subjective. Mm-hmm. And uh, the atmosphere is in Zimbabwe. Oskera Mangwana. Yeah. I'm 16 in my fridge. I'm 16 in my fridge in Pachist. I got good job. Uh, you get what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't want to say who is the best producer. We have, mm-hmm. we have overly great producers, mm-hmm. but we have others who have bigger vision than others. Mm-hmm. I think that's where they only differ. Yeah. Some see further than others. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And in this aspect, Tamuka has done, has contributed a lot. Mm-hmm. Has contributed a lot to, to, to how the scene is right mm-hmm. now. True. You get what I mean? Yeah. Tamuka dares to see further. Mm-hmm. Tamuka dares to do what reaches further. Yeah. Because he has the vision. Mm-hmm. Others have it, they have the vision, but it's a matter of degree rather than kind. Yeah, true. And it's not equal. Mm-hmm. But you don't go to the choices. Pana are good pie. Mm-hmm. Pana are good pizza. <laughs> yeah. And pana are good samosa. So that's yeah. Pana are good, you know, different type of things. <laughs> so, do pana zungo siyana man. You know, drive. Mm-hmm. Drive separates people. Mm-hmm. Ambition separates people. True. What you see and what you desire to be is what separates you. Otherwise, you're all same mm-hmm. people from. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In 2017, you signed a deal, a deal with the um, military touch movement, you know, owned by Jar Prisa. You know, tell me about that book. Yeah, yeah. You know, man, mm-hmm. I always get this question. Yeah. 2017 was a beautiful year for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, many people got to know me 2017 when mm-hmm. I did Bugatti under MTM, mm-hmm. Japraza, you know. Mm-hmm. And um, I, that was a beautiful time for me. I learned a lot. Mm-hmm. That's when I started embracing growth as a musician. Yeah. Because I was around the giants and, mm-hmm. and the icons them. Very true. Excuse me, Japraza. Mm-hmm. That was a beautiful time. I learned a lot. So how was your, your experience, you know, working with them? Um, the giants, like you've mentioned, Jar Praza, the excuse, yo, you know, and Dimurizo, Tami, I, I mean, Tashlo and Zinza. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gro- yeah. Growth. Yeah. Growth. Mm-hmm. You learn. 
when you learn something increases in you mm-hmm. or oh, what are some of the key lessons you you've you not know, learned from that you you, just, table, yeah? you you know you it's a beautiful place when you've worked hard for everything that you have mm-hmm. and when you have it it's a beautiful space to help others mm-hmm. that's job praise it's a beautiful space that has always been mm. worked hard to that point and he was able to facilitate and accommodate us all together yeah it's true you know and uh it, it, that, that's what makes you um a legend i guess mm-hmm. legend status you acquire through yeah. the amount of people you have mm-hmm. accommodated around your strength and they have dived in and utilize your strength and they also see mm-hmm. they've also uh assumed strength so it's, was was the time worth it worth it yeah i told you growth mm-hmm. not your tw- the 2017 not your different beast yeah and through the aid yeah when i got around me mm-hmm. and uh, the jazz and the excuse and i go the, the ndes mm-hmm. i got to grow and uh, no. uh, writing skill i learned the business better mm. i got wiser I got to perform on stage better. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean? All of those things. And according to a statement released um, you know by your stable during the time, this is just part of the statement in a court. We wish to put it uh, on record that Nati or will be leaving the MTM arrangement purely for growth reasons. One can only conquer the forest by walking through them. It will always be uh, it is it will always not be easy setting foot on uncharted ground, but it is through exploration that great discoveries come um with everything learned we hope to continue pursuing the abx vision simply summarized as the never ending pursuit of growth mm-hmm. close card so why did you dissociate your, yourself from uh, from this uh, statement i remember you did after I, i i mentioned that yeah yeah there was there was a bit of confusion after uh, in that situation mm-hmm. honestly something that I don't think it's important speaking uh, talking about now because mm-hmm. we fast forward into better days. Yeah. Uh but um that was a uh, shout out to my manager then mm-hmm. Byron mm-hmm. Kabaira. Uh as the one he was he, he was he was overseeing everything. Everything, yeah. He knew exactly how I thought and how I felt about mm-hmm. whatever happened that time. Yes. Hence that statement and I came and I retracted based on mm-hmm. the communication I had yeah. underground mm-hmm. with someone who was within The, the 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 camp <laughs> yeah and that person happens to have betrayed me too mm-hmm. and after i retract it convinced me to you know mm-hmm. retract then after i retract and then they counter post oh. which was you know funny in that time mm-hmm. but yeah fast forward god is amazing man who's the person no you don't need you don't need i, I cannot even say <laughs> who's, yeah. who's the person who betrayed yeah, you yeah yeah, yeah 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 it was someone within that camp yeah someone handling business within mm-hmm. that camp i was having a conversation with ah and we were at a point where i was supposed to retract this mm-hmm. because there the, the, the was really a misunderstanding but you know this question i think mm-hmm. you haven't answered clearly mm-hmm. what really happened or what transpired that led to you uh, leaving that camp you know i've forgotten honestly what really happened but i remember it had something to do with um, one i had already i was poised to, to to be the man i am right now mm-hmm. and i couldn't i couldn't have done those things in the city in the three people yeah you get what i mean mm-hmm. two there was a situation that happened that mm-hmm. that, that time mm-hmm. uh, social media situation yes. when i was playing there was a live going on and yeah. you know my life my life got cut in hey. when 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 my performance was done the mm-hmm. live resumed it, it, some funny you know <laughs> sort of sab- sabotage i don't call it sab- i don't like that term because mm-hmm. if i was sabotage i wouldn't be here mm-hmm. I don't know it was some um, foul play mm-hmm. going on. Yeah. Malicious. Malicious, yeah. Movement mm-hmm. going on. But then fast forward I only learned that it was also even a misunderstanding and a miscommunication. Mm. It was just a whole lot of bunch of miscommunication going on around. Mm-hmm. And a misunderstanding going around. Mm. Yeah. And I believe maybe that situation was meant to happen for yeah. things to be the way mm-hmm. they are right now. Mm-hmm. So uh, I, I hear the word betrayed, betrayed. You know, it it kept on coming when you're ex- ex- talking right now. So uh, betrayal, to some extent, man. I don't know what that word is. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have the right word to 
to surmise that situation mm -hmm. but it was a funny situation mm -hmm. but, but, but do you think uh, if nothing had happened mungawa uh, mochiri me say eh mtm right now i don't think so mm -hmm. still like i told you i was poised to be the to, person I yes am right now. today and i wouldn't have honestly i wouldn't have achieved certain mm -hmm. things if yeah. i was still there because i was comfortable to mm -hmm. some extent so you had to come out of your comfort zone. Exactly, I had shadows. If mm -hmm. I, if I, if I'm, if, I'm, if, I'm, if, I'm, if you, if you get me right, mm -hmm. I had shadows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get what I mean. Mm -hmm. uh, I was in a space where I can be told mm -hmm. to do certain things, and I can be told not to do certain things. Mm -hmm. And if you want to succeed in business, you know this entrepreneur levels one on one. Mm -hmm. Yes, you only have to fetch your own water. Mm. Famba na yeshko kambu zumo. Yeah. Unyasun zwiso ti drovere sera dona. Very important. <laughs> yes, I get you. Yeah. I get Everything you. was okay. Mm -hmm. I was comfortable. So would you say um, your vision was, my not, was would, not aligning with the uh, MTM vision? No, no. My vision was aligning to a, uh, until to a certain point. Mm -hmm. Remember, vision is is subject to 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 to, to growth. Mm -hmm. Vision is su subject to Pauri Pabu and what you see for yourself. Yes. yes. The, Pabu, the, the, the MTM phase served what it served. Mm -hmm. I was being, I, I, I was, I was well kept by my brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Growth. Yeah. Uh, I assumed growth and strength in that time. You mm -hmm. can tell. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate that. But live on under Aguda. After yes. and up to now. Yeah. I couldn't have done it if I was still there. I see. That's with everybody else. That, that's with every everyone else in, mm -hmm. in the system, mm -hmm. in that setup. Yeah. That's why after me, I, I, I it was me, XK and Tamuka. <laughs> Doing the thing. Exactly. So are you okay now with uh, the rest of the, you know, MTM members, especially Jab I don't have a problem with anyone. Mm -hmm. I've never had a problem with anyone. In 2017, your song Bugatti, you know, became an anthem. You know, uh, what is it about you? I mean, that sets you apart from from the rest when it comes to creating this, uh, my hits. You know, fact that I'm not here is, is, is the difference. Mm -hmm. In fact, that um, things are happening this way, I believe is the difference because I cannot pinpoint exactly what sets me apart because so, so mm. God alone would answer this question. Yeah. Um, but I know I'm wired different. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, 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 when I say I want to do this, I mm -hmm. do it. Yeah. And I always win because mm -hmm. I made a confident with God that when I set my foot onto the hustle, mm -hmm. upon a defeat. Yeah. When I set my foot onto the battlefield, mm -hmm. casualties. Yeah. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's not you over you. <laughs> that's the boy. <laughs> if you're just joining us, I'm talking to uh, Nati Ori boy. You know, he's very, very, very talented superstar. He's our superstar. I, I, I would say uh, every time, even when I was on radio, I used to say Nati or our international star, our superstar. He's our export. So we'd export Nati or to Jamaica without fail, uh, America without fail, whatever you want to export him to. Well, yeah. seven, yes. without fail, <laughs> without fail. Bankable, yeah, bankable. Yeah, I like that. Put ten million on it. Yeah, yeah. You won't go home crying. <laughs> Nutty. In 2019, you collaborated with the Jamaican reggae artist, you know, Etana, uh, on No Money, No Love. Yes. So, what was it like, you know, having your music featured on uh, uh, such a on such a significant album? The power of that mm -hmm. collaboration is that the album ended up getting to billboard yeah the album ended up getting nominated wow. for the grammy hey. so that's the album i featured yeah that ended up mm -hmm. getting nominated for the grammy uh -huh. that means i featured on a grammy nominated project mm -hmm. yeah which made me uh a beautiful statistic for my nation yes because i was the only african and the only collaboration mm -hmm. On, on that album too. Yeah, yeah. Considering the depth and the heights, Itana, one of the biggest mm -hmm. reggae songstress ever to come out of Jamaica. Yes. Honored me with that collaboration. Mm. Collaboration went mm -hmm. into the album that went to the billboard, went to the Grammys, mm -hmm. and I'm part of it. Yeah. That makes me what? 
a star. <laughs> a Grammy winner. Man, you don't know to a Grammy. I, 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 Definitely, because I've been there. Yeah. If I've been there, as, yeah. as, as some, I've been there in a project that is in the Grammys. Yeah. Tell me, t- tell me, tell me what can stop me. Oh, Abana, nothing can stop you. In 2021, you released uh, your your album. You know, uh, the Mustard Seed. You know, what's in the name, Mustard Seed? As long as your faith is small as a mustard seed, mm. you can move mountains. Album, raga you are king. Raga move from mountains. Trust me, this album. Oh, oh, every track, every track was just hit after hit after hit, and. You know, the reception, how was the reception according to Nimon Rock? You have said it all, Ola. Mm-hmm. The album moved mountains. Mm. The album is the basis of what mm-hmm. Natio is right now. Yeah. The album gave hope to the whole nation. Mm-hmm. The album gave people strength, hope, mm. power. Yeah. The album empowered. The album gave people mm-hmm. intangible mm-hmm. wealth. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. And up, up until this time. Yes. People always tell me, oh, this is the best album uh-huh. the past decade. This is the best album we've had in a decade. Yeah. This is the best album we've had in a decade. <laughs> I don't know how to dispute. So what what, what inspired the, the making of this album? Oh, well, I've always been a seed. Uh-huh. I've always been working to be this person that I am. Mm-hmm. I've always wanted to be a symbol of strength, power, and hope mm-hmm. to my people in the nation. The Master Seed was... The inception, mm-hmm. you could at that turn where I say, a Zimbabwean musician, and once I could cop it, the moment, yeah, she could believe or it would be, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. You can call anyone, you yeah, you can call label executives, you can call Jay Z right now, you mm-hmm. can call Lil Wayne right now, yeah, you can call anyone. Mm-hmm. If Michael Jackson was alive, and yeah. Gumpa must have said, mm. to listen to this. And go tell her the same thing I'm telling you. <laughs> yes. It's the energy mm-hmm. within it. Mm-hmm. The aura within that. The curation of the the, 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 the artistic curation of the lyrics, mm-hmm. the music, the topics, mm-hmm. the delivery, the choice of words. Yeah. Everything packaged in one mm-hmm. word called power. Mm. That's why Pan is known as the Peri Power. And the Peri Power. Which took which took us from COVID times mm. up to this point in time. We st- we are a powerful people. We play as well, uh, but my one, my one, my one. Safe. Give me the message. Give me the message. Yes. The lyrical content is just oh, man, so amazing. Man, it's safe. Yeah. yeah. Told from COVID days up mm-hmm. to this time. Do many Peter Pan ka? Yeah. Do many Kung Fu ka? Iwe. Do many Chinese ya ju? So I bad kam battery. Do many Ndiwe mo? Do many trouble in the city? Because honestly speaking, and it's still trouble in the mm-hmm. city. Mm-hmm. What else? When you say trouble in the city, what do you mean? Exactly that. Trouble in the city. Trouble in the city. Which city? This city. Harare. Oh, the world. Okay. It's my city. Okay. It's a whole. Yeah. So now it depends on how you interpret. Mm. How do you know me? Yeah. How do you understand this mm-hmm. music? How mm-hmm. do you read within the line? But when you, when you say Master Seed, you know, um, someone who want to understand. Symbolism of faith. Symbolism of faith. I was basically vocalizing my faith coming mm-hmm. from a Bible verse. Mm-hmm. Which says, as long as your faith is small, is a mustard seed, mm-hmm. you can move mountains. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Faith is small, is a mustard seed, oh, you yeah. can move mountains. Yeah. It also goes deep, mm-hmm. speaking of the qualities of the seed. Mm-hmm. You know the seed, the mustard seed? Yeah. The qualities of a mustard seed. Mm. That seed does not succumb to a harsh exterior conditions. Wow. Put the seed underneath a stone, it will grow. Mm-hmm. The seed... It's small, but you know, cover a large space, yeah. surface area. Yeah. Kanara Buddha. Mm. You see, there's not a zukura into a big tree. Wow. This tree serves as shelter mm-hmm. for the animals, for the yes. people, mvuri for animals. Exactly. Be as fruit. Mm-hmm. I don't know what you guys mm-hmm. Fountain of strength and hope. The air we breathe. The clean air we breathe. Wow. You get what I mean? Yeah. This is the tree I am becoming this is the tree i want to become this is so profound exactly so from from that time the the, the planter seed mm-hmm. i want you to get this yeah the seed the mustard seed that was the seed that's mm-hmm. the seed i planted yeah on the ground so we had to see the fruits exactly now 
sidi rato kura ra plant mm-hmm. rukukura rufano zukura into a big 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 tree yeah. that will serve that mm. will serve humanity in many ways yeah you, see, you know the importance of trees in mm-hmm. our lives mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. but this is not just a tree yeah it's some one special big tree this is big exactly at uh, the album here master said you know recorded over two million streams on digital platforms uh, over, over 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 now, that, over two was, million, that yeah. was that, that was that was long time there. yeah yeah so yeah. how much did you over. actually make it from, from, from that album i will not i will not disclose how much i made from mm-hmm. that album but yeah. the album families that's all i can tell you the yeah. album rugu seva its purpose as a tree mm. you see mm. yeah from 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 that's that's i would say i, I, would, I would think the over god because mm-hmm. that's a blessing to the work of my hands I, I, yeah. up until now all of seven i'm mm-hmm. still performing mm-hmm. i'm still busy my brother yeah i'm still performing the album was 2021 yeah. up until this time yes i'm still performing and i don't have i, I didn't have no new catalog yeah. before uh last year mm-hmm. the cornerstone yeah i'm still performing those songs mm-hmm. and peter power is still a new song yeah and peter power is still the mantra of the year yeah true the album is still the album of the year mm. <laughs> it's still the album of the year, still the album of the year. <laughs> did you get that still the album of the year <laughs> okay Trust me. So, Hanji, I, okay. Yeah, I agree. I, I like to ask a uh, uh, question. I agree. Hola, question. <laughs> Do you disagree with my statement? No, no, I, I don't. Do you dispute? No. The, the master maybe, maybe, maybe yeah. because I'm biased, but I, I love that album. No, 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 no. you're mm-hmm. not biased. Mm-hmm. You see, the problem is, don't be afraid uh-huh. to say your best lot yeah, yeah. just because of I don't know whatever it is. Yes, yes. Do you dispute that the, the album is still the no, album? I don't. Of the I don't. <laughs> Thank you. I agree with you. Until, <laughs> until then. <laughs> so, and the Perry Power, you know, I want to understand why you why you're so what's the story behind this song and the Perry Power was but that that statement and then the chingo by a by, you know, many one on a fire fire, you know, and the Perry Power. So, tell us. And the Perry Power still the message of the season until we die. Mhm. And fungo kuna muna na don't that pera power. Azidi. Oh and the fungo mm-hmm. there is a person who would love kunza apera power. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean? Yeah, I get it. And what power am I talking about? Mm. That's a story for another day. Yeah. But power is within. The power is within. What do you believe? Mm. Do you move like the person you say you are? Mm-hmm. How are you impacting the surroundings, your surroundings? Mm-hmm. How do you how, how do you avoid How do you avoid mm-hmm. stress? Yeah. Depression. How do you avoid negativity? Mm-hmm. How do you duck all of these yeah. negative aspects of your life and mm-hmm. still emerge victorious? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How do you move through the terrain of troubled waters yeah. and still emerge victorious? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see? Yeah. Power. How are you impacting your surroundings? Yes. Yes. Ano ga kuna wano feel inspired. Mhm. Wanao kakuna wanu feel it like we're inspired. Yeah. Someone feel inspired on mm-hmm. one day. I would want to be like Ola Seven. Yes. That's the power I'm talking about. Mhm. Why you think I want to look up to us Ola Seven? Mhm. And I, I don't know how many messages I got from people. Yeah. With testimonies. Mhm. How handy pity power got them to where they are. Hey, I powerful. got I got chicken in deal through someone who anga zingwa basa. Mm. Avazo wana basa the chicken in mm. and that story inspired the bosses to look for me through and pay power oh. to give me a brand ambassadorship jeez that's how you got that ambassadorship that's how i got it and pay the power ah. power in session hey so in a way it is, it is changing people's lives right exactly yeah i don't know how many i've been to sessions that's the impact of music people that have been on chemotherapy mm-hmm. calling me before they get in you know what yeah Yeah. Dimbiro and Peri Power. Hey. Cuz I think you're giving that person your strength. Strength, hope. Yeah. Power. Yeah. Fortifying. Hey. Your spirit. Yeah. Your energy within. Yeah. So that you won't wither. Mhm. That's that's that 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 that's the life around me. That's mm. the reality around me. I get it. That's what that's what I see when I move. That's mm. the energy mm. I get when I move. How did how, how does that make you feel? You know? Oh, like it makes me feel special. Mhm. It makes me feel fulfilled. Yeah. When I move, that's the energy I get. Mm-hmm. P- 
people bless me because I've blessed them with yeah, that. Yeah, true. That's a prayer. Because everyone else singing that song, everyone who sang to that song was mm-hmm. praying for me also. Yes. Because people mistake prayer for something that is calculated. <laughs> no, prayer, prayer is also mm-hmm. is also what you align yourself with, how mm-hmm. you move. I mm-hmm. move as a powerful person. Yeah. That song lives within my that that's I leave that song. Yeah. I'm a powerful youth. Mm-hmm. And pow- many powerful youths out there. Yes. Powerful people like you mm-hmm. out there and many mm-hmm. powerful business people out there. It doesn't matter yes. where you're coming from. Yes. Yes. Power is here. Mm-hmm. What you see, what you believe, and how you dare to mm. move through it. Yeah. See through it. Mm-hmm. You know, go through it. Yeah. Emerge victorious regardless. Mm-hmm. I'm from Bari, my brother. Yeah. Life could have been worse. You were. But we're here, man. Ah, uh, no, I, 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 I love that. I'm sure a lot of people are learning, you know, from what you're saying. I, 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 I believe so. And I'm, I'm, I'm on the Bob Marley song, brother. Yeah. Yeah. I, I remember the, the thing. That's, a, that's power. Hey. Emotion. How did you get that? Through my team mm-hmm. and merit. Mm-hmm. Merit. Yes. It's two things. Mm-hmm. It's the people you work with. Yeah. And merit. The merit. Yeah. Never. Never. Because honestly, Yes. You cannot just wake up. Mm-hmm. Savage. Hey. It takes a great deal of anointing food. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the team, shout out to Tapone Squad. Yeah. Kelvin Nana. Mm-hmm. Um, my, my brother, mm-hmm. lawyer friend yeah. from the UK. Mm-hmm. Big person in my business. Yeah. Shout out to me mm. and Tamuka too. Yeah. Yeah, because it was also based on merit. Because mm. after Tapone Squad, and the people my team got to do what they do. Mm-hmm. There is work in question. You always verify that I'm not verify. I'm not not verify. So it's merit. It's also my team. Mm-hmm. And I'm thankful. And it's also God's blessings. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. anointing young and you know, um, after Hadi Peri Power, then there was Seth. Seth, you know, you know, and you did well um, on Master Seed, like we've talked about it. But I want to understand do you write your own songs? Yes, I do. All of them? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's powerful. That's so you've got, you know, my talents, like I wonder, it was someone who's good at writing, good at singing. <laughs> yes, that's why some, some are good. Bo- some are good. Some are chosen. Yeah. When 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 you are chosen now, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you are an instrument of Jehovah's excellence. You are supposed to serve the world. Uh huh. So you are capable of doing yeah almost anything in any sphere, in any space, in any paradigm mm. efficiently. Yeah, true. The ones who are to good. Jack of what? Master of none. <laughs> Exactly. So, so we don't live by the rules mm-hmm. of the earth. Mm-hmm. We live by the rules of the one who gave us life. Mm. And God said, I can do all things through him who? My brother, you've got so much wisdom. When I'm listening to this, you know, as I'm interviewing you, I'm actually learning something and I'm just getting a different picture of Nati O altogether. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure our viewers are too. Because the way we view people, you know, from a distance and the way you view people when, you know, you're interacting with them like this. Exactly. Totally different. And I'm sure it's going to change a lot of people's per- perception, you know, and also the impression you're going to have about, you know, Nati O. So let's take a short break. We'll be right back and yeah, we're still here with Nati O and more to come. Every dollar sent home from the diaspora by your loved ones represents their hard work and commitment 
to ensuring that you're all taken care of. That's why we want to ease their experience and make it more convenient. With Sasai Money Transfer, sending money from the diaspora is free and you receive the money straight into your EcoCash USD wallet, ready for you to spend and cash out for free. That way, you can receive money to help you alleviate the impact of the drought on you and your family. Buy groceries, pay school fees, renew your insurance, pay bills and more within a few taps on your phone. And you're guaranteed access to USD cash from any registered EcoCash outlet nationwide. Tell your family in the diaspora to send money with Sasai Money Transfer today. Let's fight the El Nino-induced drought together. EcoCash. Live life the EcoCash way. Welcome back to the On The Sport segment. I'm here talking to Nati Oribuai. You know, Simbaraji Carrington. I don't know about Carrington. And yeah, it's getting hot and hotter. <laughs> you know, welcome back, uh, Nati Oribuai. And uh, earlier on, we were talking about the master seed, Seth, the G and Perry Power. You know, but I've realized that, uh, you know, I've realized some, something. Uh, yeah. Controversy. You are not involved in any. I've tried to look for, you know, your controversy, your stuff. You know, that's my area. You know, that one. That one, you, <laughs> you know me. But I've, you know, hakuna, hakuna any controversy. You know, and also I've seen, uh, you know, many artists poking you. What's your response? Uh, so, it's the, it's the understanding, I mm -hmm. guess. Because, I mean, I'm not a controversy. I, I, I don't know how, because, you know, we, we're not out there to... Mm -hmm to steer controversy to gain whatever it is because yes. honestly if you, I, i'll ask you mm -hmm. why would you want to be controversial mm. there's no no point really maybe mazano gain my likes is news that that's what people do by they, 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 yeah they always stay you know i mean controversy to gain my likes my views everything so, so can we say a life built on controversy controversy to get likes is sustainable not 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 sustainable oh but you know sometimes they say controversy sells to who i've not seen i've i've not seen the most controversial getting big deals mm -hmm. the more you get controversial not to cut over the <laughs> very, very true chokwadi. very true <laughs> not to yes. not to not to not to yes. <laughs> you see yeah so i'm not about that mm -hmm. and it's not because i'm trying to act um like a saint but that's me mm -hmm. that's my demeanor yeah that you is I, I'm, I'm not saying i'm i'm perfect mm -hmm. and do, and do on social media yeah uh, sometimes i lose it mm -hmm. i you know don't bother respond that respond yes, yes. uh, one of my warnings <laughs> <laughs> but then just go maxine and i just collect myself because you know what uh -huh. one thing i've realized is the devil mm -hmm. if the devil himself are tanza who don't need us i need exactly. no but uh my minions are my shandisa, my shandisa yeah, yeah. to try and oh yeah guns blazing and try co and co 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 there, um, at the period during the you know okay grand challenge thing yeah you know it's one of those and mm -hmm. i and i regret doing that <laughs> you get what i mean because ah, you know <laughs> yeah. i'm not i'm not about that but yeah. you know it was one of one of those moments i was mm -hmm. being real though yeah then go try to get energy because nanda to una narrative yanga da ku push and that is always it has happened a lot of times vano vedu vangwe vatri kuti we should look up to vangwe vangwe vedu but no believe what they should put mm -hmm. push it right narratives and push right energies yeah vano distort mm -hmm. our energies mm -hmm. for uh, likes and whatever it is that yeah. we do not know you get what i mean are you, are you now in good books with the with that period now we're in good books. We've mm -hmm. always been in good books. Okay, so it was just like a stunt. Never. I, mm -hmm. I don't do stunts mm -hmm. in a real life. What I say today, I meant it. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we had to meet in person yeah, and yeah. iron that out. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. We had to meet in person and iron that out. But mm -hmm. I, I don't do stunts. Mm -hmm. Anyone who knows me, mm -hmm. I am not funny to that point. Yeah. And in energy, I could stunt. Yeah. 
I'm real. So mm-hmm. uh, sometimes in the got to tell her social media I was on the good that that's exactly, <laughs> exactly <laughs> how I I I I feel. <laughs> yeah, so the scene has changed, you know, after Master Seed, you know, was released. You also worked with Jamaican artist Demarco on the song Dewey. You know, how did you link up with Demarco and also what are some of the positives you got from these, you know, engagements? Big up Abra Sims. Abra Sims took my music to Demarco and Demarco loved my music. Oh. We exchanged Shout numbers. Shout out to you, Abra Sims. We exchanged numbers mm-hmm. from then up to now. I still speak to Demarco. He adores my craft. Wow. He has told me that, you know what? For you, the sky is the limit. Mm-hmm. Like, funny enough, all of these, all of my bridges that I see, yes. you know, artists from outside and producers, mm-hmm. I meet, they, they always amuse. Yeah. They they always give me an impression they, yes. they, they didn't expect to see an mm-hmm. artist of my mm-hmm. caliber in Zimbabwe. Yes. Or person like me coming from Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. They ask, yeah. You're from Zim? Hey. How come? Exactly. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it gives me joy mm-hmm. to know that, you know what? Can I talk to Premiership? To Tambo, you know, do one Premiership. Standard mm-hmm. Diro. Because anyway, why are we doing music? Mm-hmm. I'm not doing music to please. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm also doing music to make sure I'm going to be able to do it. I'm Venezuela. Yeah. This even on we see what I'm trying to say Very in true. one accord. Very true. The influence is global. We are living mm. in a global scene. Mm. Business are, businesses are growing global. That's expansion. Yeah. In my in my in 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 my case, that's mm-hmm. extension. Yeah. That's why I'm ability extension. Yes. <laughs> I <laughs> like I like that. You know, but I want to uh, understand from you, uh, Naji. Has also the scene changed after um, after the master scene for you? You can tell. If you've not seen it. Mm. If you've not seen it. <laughs> we, 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 are seeing the we can ask the fans. Uh-huh. The scene changed, definitely. After the mustard seed, everything it, everything that is right now, mm-hmm. somewhere, somehow, yeah. influence it to Vipapo. Yeah. Yeah. That is the album of the people. Mm-hmm. For the people. The people have said that's the album. Mm-hmm. When you want to do an album, that's the epitome of what an album should be like. A great. So album, Rufan and or more. But uh, what impact have international collaborations had on the brand Nati O? Believe me, Ola. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been to, I've been being played on Ghana radio, mm-hmm. and they've addressed me as a Zimbabwe international act. Hey. Ola yeah. Seven. Uh-huh. That's how I go to. Be on a Bob Mali project yes. alongside Rema Skip Mali and all mm. of these superstars. Mm. Mm. Ola Seven, that's how I go to be with J5 in studio. Yeah. That's how I go to be with so many big producers mm-hmm. in studio. Mm-hmm. That's how I go to be in so many label setups and I've been in influential buildings, yes. Ola, yes. with influential people. Mm-hmm. That's what those collaborations have done. Mm-hmm. My Jamaican links are solid. Yeah. I have a solid Jamaican link, solid Jamaican base. Mm-hmm. I don't try. Yeah. And that's what the collaboration does. And mm-hmm. the collaboration works as as, as justification for mm-hmm. a city building. Yeah. When you're not around, mm-hmm. what do people say about your music and your yes. craft? Yes. Mm-hmm. Honestly speaking, when I go to London or when I go to Scotland, I don't talk about that to you. I don't accurate. Yeah. So basically, someone from Spain or someone from Germany, mm-hmm. Demarco is an international icon. Reggae and dance are big person. Yes. Stoneboy is big, mm-hmm. likewise. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. So someone knows Stoneboy, but they don't know Natio. Yeah. But then when they now bump into Natio music, mm-hmm. And then they see good Aramba na Stone, stone boy, boy, and they know Stone Boy. Yeah, everything that changes. That changes. Oh, you get what I mean. But but who do you wish to to work with now or in the near future, you know, internationally or local? All at seven. I want to work with everyone mm-hmm. who matters out there. Mm-hmm. I want to work with Jay Z right now. Right. I want to work with Lil Wayne right it's now. It's a big dream now. Yes, I want to work with Ashaki. I want to work with Omalay. I want to mm-hmm. work with Wiz Kid right now. Mm-hmm. Burner Boy. I want to work with those people. That yeah. is the, the the mission right now. That I is s- the cause. I, s- I see you working with Burner Boy. This is not Definitely. a prophecy. It's not a prophet, but I see you working with uh, Burner Boy. Ola Trust seven. me. I'm going to save, uh, save this clip. That's possible, Ola. Mm-hmm. It's highly possible. Yeah. There is no other way. 
Who else should work with Bernard? Yeah. I'm asking you. You. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And that's Nati O for you guys. You know, we're having fun here with uh, Nati O, getting to know Nati O better, you know. So let's talk about awards. You won the Zima Awards for the best male, uh, also best album and best song of the year in 2022. Uh, you also went on to win the Nama of um, for outstanding male and outstanding album. Mm-hmm. You know, that's big. How was the response on your last year's project Cornerstone? You know, mixed up. Cornerstone was mixed. Yeah. Yeah. Let's speak of the awards first. Yeah. Um Hey, that time like I'm a child. <laughs> that's a good child. I took everything there is to take. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because mm, two numbers. Yeah. We're supposed to be three. Ngo to your manamas you know how they are. You see they, they <laughs> uh, you know how they are. Yeah. I feel like sometimes they mm-hmm. they out here to balance things. Mm-hmm. Which is okay. Yeah. Shout out to them. Mm-hmm. But uh, I found ngara angu is 3. Not 3. Uh-huh. I even among my categories as Singapore which, which, which categories do you think you to aba gaba ola 7. Even get yango food. Ola 7. I will tell you this. Yeah. Uku go music. Mhm. Time yo yo you must have said ne manga ma categories as atambo one kama artist i was uh-huh. supposed to get those awards right i was supposed to get visual awards mm-hmm. i was supposed to get i don't know is is, is it not self raising i just self raising i was going to sing bizel it's self realization uh-huh and by doing that what mm-hmm. am i doing i'm gratifying the creator yeah for giving me these gifts mm-hmm. and talents mm mm-hmm. Pues mimi muno dauzo tawara ndafa. Tanga kapeng. I'm taking the opportunity before you. Yeah. Before our poster good it was one great. Yes. I'm telling you I should have taken all of the awards. Mm. But then fine. Yeah. But then that was one 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 time I was enjoying myself I was having a time of my life man. Mm-hmm. Mazimas I was in seven categories I think I ended up getting three or four I got balance of foot. You get what I mean? Yeah. Then the Star FMs. Yeah. The awards again, I remember. Star FM always. Uh-huh. They deliver. Mhm. Our ports. Yeah. You get those ones. I took every award in every category <laughs> I was in. And our ports were so happy with it. Exactly. Yeah. Just that's how in that season mm-hmm. that was what was supposed to happen. Yeah. If we sit here in this podcast or mm-hmm. in this conversation yeah. and not speak about the truth mm-hmm. and we if you sit and do not speak about what is what what it really is yeah. then it defeats the purpose of why we should speak very true very true and wanna you know my platforms like I want the people don't want to speak the truth people yeah. want to di- divert uh-huh. distort the truth mm-hmm. Mr Philip Chiango said don't detach from reality yes. the reality of things is the mustard seed still is Mm-hmm. Yeah? yeah. In that time I was supposed to get everything there is to take. Mm. It wasn't supposed to be balancing. Yes. But you know as human beings mm-hmm. who are we not to err? Who are we not to falter? Yeah. Mm. So tell me tell, tell me about the response, you know, the, um, after um, you released Conson mixtape. Yeah, so last year I'm in the process of making my album. Mm-hmm. Like always I've said great music takes time. Mhm. You agree with me that good things take time? Yeah, very true. Exactly. In that's the same formula with music. Mhm. Eh, tonye berana kuna mna no gazira album in four months. As it. Eh, and this when I will put it this way. Conception. Mhm. Which you tenga boom here. I don't well, think I say. I don't remember the last time I used boom. But you go me tenga. Yeah, I'm going to take a high. Exact high beer. Yeah. It could be easy. Yeah. Easy tengwa. Exactly. But now what zoka? Mhm. Ko engu you get what I mean? Exactly. Mm. exactly. Mm. That's with music. So it yeah. is that you're making product mm-hmm. short term ruku consume for three days mm-hmm. or for four hours. Yes. People want to move to the next mm. or you're creating something that will last for generations. Yeah. And for you to create something that will last for generations it takes time. Mm-hmm. So your music is not bubblegum music. Never. I'm not close to the bubblegum. I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, me and the bubblegum we don't see eye to eye. Yeah. I'm not neighbors with the bubblegum. And gum. you make sure that you perfect your art, your work, your craft. 
Because like he's saying, it's the work of art. Mm -hmm. Work of art. Yeah. Art you can make a sense at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Not for one day or for four hours. True. Very or for true. two minutes. Mm -hmm. Honestly speaking, uh, music, you know, it's sad because you, you spend four months mm. at a babu gun project. Yeah. yeah. After four months of gathering. After four months of gathering. That's mega sense. You know, you, you've got several names, uh, several nicknames, you know, Africa's finest billboard youth and ABX King. <laughs> Can you explain the meaning of, uh, I mean, behind, the meaning behind each of these names, like Africa's billboard youth and also I have, I have so ABX many King. nicknames, or I'll tell you the most important ones. Which mm. core primary and the Kano Zora. Kano? Kano Zora. Because I'm the Zora. Uh-huh. Zora, athletics. Right. But two rounds there. The tongue and look pets here. Of one of Zora. There's no Zora. Upura. That's why I said on the canoe Zora. Right. And it also speaks uh, life to me because it mm -hmm. means. Yeah. Very true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Speed. Which end up. Uh, no way. Yeah. Yaga dark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But Vargumanya. Pasina. Pasina. Mm -hmm. Very true. Direction matters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In this aspect. And that's me. Do cannot do it. Nickname young and application is known as King Forward. King Forward. Berry. Berry. Mm. Eu comadante. <laughs> commandante, what, what, what does that mean? Yes, El Commandante is the commander. All right, all right, the all right. leader. Uh -huh. I see. Uh -huh. it's, it's French. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Look yeah. it up. Uh -huh. yeah, and look at that man. The nickname I got just recently. I have so many King Forward, ABX General, uh -huh. Africa's Finest, Billboard Youth, Grammy O Youth, mm -hmm. yeah. LeBron O. Mm -hmm. But you look at that one. That one's Baba Talent. Baba talent. Do you have a kid? I know the talent. Oh, it's, it's because I am the talent. Talent. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice, man. This is amazing. EP, uh, recently, you know, oh, I found out you were standing there. Do you have a Shout out to Drip Cycle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I found out. I found out you the Drip Cycle. You okay, know. you give Stylist. me that. Stylist. Yeah. Shamariyake. Uh huh. I don't phone it wrong, Mosin. I got a chill under the day. Exactly. King Ford, when he's turning in a Buddha, one of the Magons, Baba Chipo. Uh huh. Oh, aka Baba Talent. Uh huh. Because I'm only talent. Mm. You know what? I felt good about it. You always say, coming to you from another world. Exactly. Which world are you referring to? Extension. Ability extension. I'm coming, mm. I'm coming to you from another world. I'm coming to you from a place. Yeah. Where. I'm coming for you from an old place. Mm -hmm. I'm coming to you from an imaginary world. Yes. Because everything else starts with imagination. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. So, I, I don't think I'm going to imagine if I do what I do, if yes. I speak, if I'm as juiced as I am, if mm -hmm. I am as, as, as endured as I am. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. That's the aspect of coming to you from another world. I get it. I'm coming to you from a place you least expect me mm -hmm. from. Yeah. from <laughs> behind. When you least expect. <laughs> so, you know, you deliver your vocals in a mixture of Shona and Patwa. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, why Patwa? We are Zimbabwe, Ola. Mm -hmm. Jamaican pathways is part of us. Mm -hmm. Why? Bob Marley, mm -hmm. 1980. Yeah. Came. Sang a song for Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. involved in the process of our independence. Yes. Performed at our independence. Mm-hmm. On the Faro Stadium. Yeah. Kumbari Shekari. Mm-hmm. Kwatinovo. Ikoko Ghetto. See? Yeah. And Bob Marley left a seed. Yeah. He left a seed. Mm -hmm. From that, from them time, the, we gravitate towards yeah. the reggae music uh, and yeah. dance. Mm -hmm. So reggae music, I owe a thing mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Reggae music and dance and music, our music too, because mm -hmm. of Bob Marley and mm -hmm. the seed that he left. Oh, okay. And this person was directly involved in the process of our independence. Mm -hmm. He even sang a song called Zimbabwe. Yes, yes. He even said Zimbabwe is one of his favorite places. Mm -hmm. It's there, it's documented. Wow. 
So there's no question why we love reggae and dance. And so there's no question you, why you the culture. Learn, um, patois, or yeah, you, you learn every day. I mm -hmm. learn every day. I yeah. have my Jamaican friends. I have a ja old, old Jamaican community. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I go in the UK, mm -hmm. plenty Jamaican friends. And yeah. Plenty Jamaican artist friends. Mm -hmm. You see, we have Africans who also speak in Jamaican mm -hmm. patois in Ghana. Stoneboy, yeah. Shatawale. Mm -hmm. Stoneboy being my brother. Afro dancer ambassador. I'm also an Afro dancer mm, ambassador. Mm. So you can't be doing dancer and not know patwa. Yeah. Because Jamaican music, because mm -hmm. dancer and reggae is Jamaican music, mm -hmm. and we somehow yeah. are influenced by that culture yes. through Bob Marley. Mm -hmm. So we gravitate towards that culture. I like that. Yeah, they are not as dance. So emulation, yeah, the original, the real dance Jamaican dancer. Mm. That's why we change. Uh, yeah, my, my teams, my guys, you know. That's why they use them. Speak like how they speak. Yes. That's so, why we speak like how we speak. It's no question. You can't ask me why. Mm, mm, mm. You you always say you know your tagline ABX ability extension. Mm -hmm. You know, talk to us about that. What does that mean? It means the the never ending pursuit mm. of growth. Okay. Ability extension. The never ending pursuit of growth. Mm, amazing. Growth is a must. In 2019, part of ranking called you the future of African music. This is what he had to say in a court. Yeah, Anzi, in Zimbabwe, I like Ja Praiser. I like his music. I like Winky D as well. But not all is the future. Mm -hmm. He is not on. He's not good. He is bad in a good way. Mm -hmm. I will say it again. Not all is the future of not just Zimbabwe but Africa. Close court. So how does it feel? You know, to to have such a big artist believe in you. You know, Pato Ranking's big, man. Pato Ranking. Yeah. I call him the world best. Mm. They call him the world best. And yeah. If you get a cosign from the best, that means you're also the best. Mm -hmm. He said Natio is one of the baddest. Yeah. He said Natio is not good, he's bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's why one of my taglines is, yes, I'm the baddest. Yes. I yes. got it from him. Mm-hmm. I see so phrasing. Oh. Directly taking it from... From Patarangi. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm the bodies. Yeah. And you know what that does? It fulfills you. Mm -hmm. It validates the process. Yes. It validates whatever it is that I am doing. Mm -hmm. Whatever I have been doing. Mm -hmm. But it works. Yeah. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. It works. True. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, last year... Um, you and Winky D featured on Bob Marley's Africa Unites album, mm -hmm. and you, t you, you you told us about that, you know, early on. But how did it shape your music career? That incident alone, all are seven. It's always. I want to ask you a question before I answer you, mm -hmm. but that question is also an answer to. Yeah, give me two of the biggest musicians in the world, according to you. In the world? Mm -hmm. ah, that's a big question. It is a big one. Yeah. Just answer it quickly. <laughs> Two of the biggest? Two ah, of the no, biggest. No, 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 no. I, that one. Ever. I would say Bob Marley, number one. He's mm -hmm. top of my list. Well, mm -hmm. that's according. True, true, true. I, I would say yeah. uh, Bob Marley. Mm -hmm. I would say Michael Jackson. Exactly. Mm. So, Michael Jackson and Bob Marley, mm -hmm. arguably two of the best ever yes. to leave. Mm -hmm. Two of the best biggest artist on the, in true. the world very true and i happen to feature one of them <laughs> <laughs> oh that's where you're going <laughs> i see i see i see oh, but i agree it's i happen to feature one of them exactly what else should we talk about Ola? Uh, no, Is, no. isn't this interview done <laughs> <laughs> or anyone who has a question about or anyone who still questions you know what on demo yeah <laughs> what a demon, literally. You still question. I won't go move to Max and Oh, I feature Michael Jackson. But how did you feel, you know, working together with uh, Winky D on, on, you know, always an owner working, a big project? Always an owner working with Winky D. Mm -hmm. Man, I, 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 Winky D is my brother. Mm -hmm. It's my brother like that. We speak every day. Yeah. We speak now, Winky. Yeah. Every day mm -hmm. on many topics. Yes. Wise guy. Hmm. Me and Winky Link is an yeah. educational class. Yeah. And I like this about Winky D. Mm -hmm. First person to endorse the album, Mustard Seed. Wow. Yes. Yeah, that's a huge, huge endorsement as well. That was the first endorsement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before yeah. anyone. Yeah, yeah. Winky D. Uh huh. King, come. Asatarinzo. Uh huh. Panajakanzo. Right? Just endorse the works. 
mm. gave strength we call it strength yeah 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 when you say giving strength mm-hmm. because you know what sometimes ukapa munu ukaenda pamsike over hapa mumza utenge samsika baget rema domas mhm hapa gonera mm no you are utenge sama domas kudara mm-hmm. hapa afti mama domas i no to some extent mm-hmm. but you go shike u go not from sigavao abana ma potatoes mm-hmm. ama potatoes ari kudiwa ari demand ari kunetsa kuwana ni madora uvo vava pa stukiwe yeah uninga vava gonera direct because all that are different vava pa chini chavango achida the most yeah vasina vasina mhm and give when he gave me that when i really needed that mm-hmm. in a head no endorsement already and get powerful after yes. winky d stone boy and demarco endorsed the album mm. and winky d being the biggest one of the biggest gave me an endorsement mm-hmm. and they say he has only done that for me hey yeah, that's very true that, they say that's he has true. only done that for me mm-hmm. so now to sang and again for well i'll tell you now mm-hmm. to tight about mali project already before the master seed mm tatanga ngo ichengeta cuz you know at this yeah. business we're supposed to keep it yes true mm-hmm. we had already done that mm. yeah so that's big so besides music you know you are also a, a, a life coach uh, at you yeah, man. and brand ambassador uh, talk, mm-hmm. uh, talk to us about the ambassadorial deals mm-hmm. you know under your name um just ended my chicken in brand ambassador deal mm-hmm. but i'm still brand ambassador for uh, liquid telecom mm-hmm for Malino Nezo. Yeah. Um brand ambassador for uh, my brand AVX. Yes. Yeah, uh I'm forgetting quite a lot of quite a lot of, lot of brands we mm-hmm. work with. Yeah. Ambassador with uh, the um, what you call it? The um, this one the guys were doing the dr- anti-drug uh, um, anti-drug uh, campaign. Vision the PSH okay yeah mm-hmm. uh working with a lot of brands in, yeah, true. in many aspects all and you know as a life coach do you find that um you know your experience in the music industry influences you know your coaching methods uh, if so how uh cuz you know what happened coach duri shout out to coach duri mm-hmm. um he identified me mm-hmm. He says there is a show of mine. Mm-hmm. I think it was an Econet show somewhere. Yeah. When I was speaking and he felt like I am actually ministering mm-hmm. unto people. I'm actually I'm I'm actually giving people germs and mm-hmm. motivation. Mm-hmm. He felt like I was coaching. Yeah. It wasn't just music. Mm-hmm. And I do that a lot of times when on stage. Yeah. That's how I engage with my crowd. Mm-hmm. I educate. Yeah. I entertain. And he felt like I was coaching and he called me. Mm-hmm called my manager called Diana and say yo we would like to have Nati at our school mm. would like Nati to pursue this coaching certification because we feel what he's yes. doing already uh-huh. is coaching yeah in fact they he had said we want to exempt him and just certify him because mm-hmm. already what he's doing is already doing what we teach people to do exactly. so we just want to certify him mm-hmm. And I said, "Yeah, hey, Diana, I would love that. It's a great, it's a great gesture." Mm-hmm. I went and I met Coach Dude, and I said, "Coach Dude, I want to write the exams. Mm-hmm. I want to write. I want to read and write. Yeah, I want to pass those exams." Mm-hmm. Then he said, "Oh, cool. If you have the time, yeah. I did it. Mm-hmm. You see, but to tell you something that I've already been doing, like he said. Yeah. So you managed to pass the exams? Flying colors, man. Yeah. All I said." You're an intelligent man, man. Very intelligent. Ola seven. Yeah. We're at a point where failure is never something that we speak of yes. around. Yeah. We don't speak of it. Mm-hmm. Yes, we fail, mm-hmm. but we don't speak of uh, it. Yeah, true. Because that's how we step into this. Mm. Powerful. You're, you sit on panels, you know, mm-hmm. speaking to business moguls and also uh, big people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> how do you manage to, to, to get those deals? Eh? So all are seven part of my the you know just look I cannot just be just be a musician. Mm-hmm. Honestly speaking in this dynamic world that we're living in you cannot only make money when you go on stage. Mm-hmm. Or when you go into the studio. Yeah. Which is the reality of some of our people. Mm-hmm. 
but then unozo sikaba unozo ita be now tinzo unozo go remera because the world we live in is fast and very true. dynamic you need very to true. explore mm-hmm. that's entrepreneurship we speak mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. many avenues you create m- an environment conducive mm-hmm. for your creativity yeah. you create a conducive environment for your money making skills yes yes so that means even when i'm not singing ola mm-hmm. i must get a dime very true but through the artistry mm-hmm. so i get paid sometimes to come and speak wow how much do you charge ola. for a session we say okay and that's all we want you for an, for an hour or so ola seven when it comes to speaking uno to we are on the offer mm-hmm. then i consider if your offer is worth oh, yeah. what you want me to do mm-hmm. but it's it's i will not i, I don't want to disclose figures mm-hmm. to, to, to these people okay. i feel like our people we we, we give people yeah. information in mm-hmm. after the yeah, i wasn't got to save it sometimes exactly. so like, but just know i get paid mm-hmm. well to speak yeah sometimes mm-hmm. not to perform so it's a, it's, it's like your side hustle exactly that's part of being a coach mm-hmm. i go there i speak to children yeah I I I motivate I speak about uh, career I I do career guidance mm-hmm. I sit on panels yes. I speak to business moguls like mm-hmm. you say Ken Sharp last yeah. time I was on the panel where Vusi came through mm-hmm. uh, from South Africa Ken Sharp was there and many business moguls and mm-hmm. many entrepreneurs were there around and I was so, panelist so, so in other words we're saying you you've, you've got a, a calling somehow it is it is it is a calling it right it is pastor G shout out pastor G pastor G came to me one day mm-hmm. and said not you You're not just a musician my brother. I think you must be paid more to speak more than Wait, more than singing exactly. Wow. And, and that is in he was like you oh, you need to be in those forums. Mm. The SDGs you know advocate for for for, for the girl child advocate you, you, for for you, the you, youth. You know what you're saying? Anti drug abuse etc mm. speak the issues that are pressing in society because mm. you have a voice. And I, 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 I remember um, uh, this other day having a conversation with um, Mr. Chimeza, you know, CEO of uh, Forme International. Yeah, yeah. So he was like, "Okay, Ola, how do you get a Nati O?" Um I'm like, "Ah, no, Nati is my is my G, so we can talk." Goes, "Okay. But the thing is, Nati O, that guy, okay, not talking about the music, mm-hmm. but Nati is just different." I said, "How?" I said, "No, that guy got so much wisdom. When he speaks, he was like So the first thing you convinced me that you made that nice was the the way on the tower. Yeah, It shout out to Mr. Chimeza, you know, for my Bachelor's Republic, my people too. Yeah. I'm also very number sad to that. Yeah. Great, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so where do you get all the wisdom that you all uh, considering your age? There's a saying that goes, Francis Bacon, the father of experimental philosophy mm-hmm. said youth and discretion are you with companions mm-hmm. do you get it yeah youth and discretion are you with companions that means age and wisdom as in a link as na baso de makromangani as na baso de makromangani as long as you are wired the right way mm. guys this is this is some life nuggets now yeah. life nuggets as na baso de makromangani as long as you are wired the right way uh-huh. you see Mm-hmm. itself in surviving to this point in view yeah um, to be this person that i am right now mm-hmm. requires a lot of wisdom so how do you balance uh, you know life coaching and music um, career like i said life coaching is something that i do unconsciously yeah just like this like, yeah like yeah. right now yeah yeah, yeah. and the, I, I, and then you know that also certify or later i went to school for it later yes the identify on a coach mm-hmm. Yes. That he had told me you're already that. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean? Yeah. I don't need I do it unconsciously. Yeah. Every time I meet my youth, my youth are one did for advice. Yeah. Musicians, business people. Yes. You you have no idea all how many people you influence even if you don't know it. Very true. I have Very seen true. the influence of my work mm-hmm. even when people cannot acknowledge that's me. Yeah. 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 If in him sam we jai jai we music no tones with abondina even yeah. the people for certain reasons mm-hmm. cannot speak about it based on their affiliations and their but do you do you feel like or do you think you're getting them um, enough recognition you deserve ola the recognition here is never enough mm-hmm. if i tell you if these people should value me the way they should value me i should be the number one right now mm-hmm. Right? Competing with who? Like the likes of Winky D? 
Winky D Wink- is rated number one right now according yes, to but, Zim but community. Yes, but Winky D is past comparison. Winky mm-hmm. D is a legend, so take mm-hmm. him out of the number one. Okay. Uh, Visai, I always see people say... Because it was going to cause of- like a war on social media. No, no, no. Magafa and Wangu. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I speak to them, they understand. Yeah. But the wisdom is take Winky D out, take Japreza out of mm-hmm. the number one, number two. Exactly. It's called BS. Um... <laughs> I'm a legend. Yeah. So the current generation now. You say current generation into those little yes. small small uh-huh. lineups number one to yeah. five. It's yeah. a generation here. It's a susu mum. So mga visa winki na jamu kando gumot I'm a legend. Taula number one. Na XQ legends. Taula number one. Huh? <laughs> you do you think? I don't know. No, no, no. That one will cause trouble for me. <laughs> No, no, no. Uh, that one will cause trouble. <laughs> maybe in this room. Maybe maybe these guys, the producer, the, high, the guys behind the scenes. Who do you think is number one? Uh, I don't know if you call Nathan Holyton. Fair enough. Okay. But Patango <laughs> Tarawan. Or maybe you should rephrase here. You should say Holyton and Nathan Holyton, right? <laughs> okay, it's all right. It's all right. Simple. I didn't say. But generation you. Mm-hmm. But new generation. Yeah. Well, the elders ahead of me. Yes. There's Killer T. Shout out to Killer T. It can easily be Killer T. Mm-hmm. It can easily be Natio. It can easily be Freeman. Mm-hmm. But number one, Ibab. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Then to Chizika Chien. Yeah, I, 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 I like that. So. Taka visa malijin. Taka isa uko. To talk to you yeah, because I'm funny, I, I always find it funny, Guti. How do you bring a legend into question? You cannot mm. say Bob Marley number one, Michael Jackson number I two. Wanna, yeah. No one ever over to the legendary status. Take them out. Take yeah. Japrezer out. Take mm-hmm. Winky D out of that conversation. Mm-hmm. Is I Susu my work in progress? But my ranking is number one. My work in progress. But my work in progress, hip hop. Yeah. I would love to believe it. I am number one, Ola Seven. Do you guys agree with what Nati is saying right here? If you agree, okay. Leave a comment or say something in the comment section. Let's find out. Okay. So, uh, Nati, do you have any, any other business that you're doing apart from music? Definitely. The music business. The music business. <laughs> 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 yeah, but yeah, it's, it's true education. Yeah. The music, mm-hmm. you know, comprise of many aspects, including the music business, which is the mo- the biggest part of it. Yes, yes. And Van uh, and of Gwaji, you know, the music business. Yeah. And then I've been privileged enough to travel around the world, mm-hmm. learn from the artists I collaborate with and other people and the team I work with. Mm-hmm. They encourage me to learn. I learn. I, I, I'm in the music business, Ola. Yeah. And there's a lot of business mm-hmm. in the music business. It depends to which one do you want to specialize oh, yeah. in. Oh, yeah. But at the same time, we are business people. Mm-hmm. I'm also into logistics Yeah. right now. Great. Yeah, venturing into logistics mm-hmm. soon. If, if, if time permits... Maybe mm-hmm. for the sake of, I don't like disclosing stuff because yes. I believe, you know, mm-hmm. it's senseless to disclose things mm-hmm. beyond uh, level on which which disclosure for mm-hmm. because the fans and the people who listen and follow us, mm-hmm. we don't even know about them. Yeah. So why should we tell them about our things? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it's enough. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm proud to tell you that I'm venturing into, I'm mm-hmm. in the music business, mm-hmm. uh, venturing into, I've logistics. already ventured into logistics already. Mm-hmm. Um, my man, the Indian farm, right? Mm, farm man. farming, exactly. Mm-hmm. My man, I love, I love. Farming. Like um, Maskiri is into gods now. Exactly, I, I love that. He's doing gods. Exactly, it's, ah. it's another avenue. In in I'm a bushman. Yeah, original bushman. Mm-hmm. Yes. I love that lifestyle. Yes, I like hiking. I used to do it with Gemma a lot. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, yeah. so what has been you know the biggest challenging? Uh, the biggest challenge, I mean. Mm-hmm. in your music career so far you know and how have you overcome it i won't say biggest challenge because mm-hmm. zinis are not my challenges are opportunities for growth mm-hmm. that's other business too that's another business yeah one of my loopholes or my utilizer it's a, it's a business that's business <laughs> yeah it's seeing loopholes and utilizing them mm-hmm. business yeah that's the entrepreneurial aspect of things Ola. Mm. you sit down you analyze good change you need yeah Problem solving. Yeah, oh, it's, the, it's a business. Yeah, yeah. It's a business. Mm-hmm. And I'm into that business too. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Uh, so, like, yeah. I haven't answered you. Oh yeah. My challenges. Mm-hmm. 
and you know my challenges i've only had opportunities to grow because everything that comes that poises as a challenge is mm-hmm. an opportunity to grow mm-hmm. but in layman terms i will tell you in this point in time in my career the biggest challenge i've faced in the equity i have to shrink mm-hmm. to the level of people around me mm-hmm. the remote environment yevana singanda nzikisi singa understand the value yang exactly mm-hmm. and that's a big problem that's a big challenge for mm-hmm. me because i found myself being let's say being in a country or being in a space where people don't actually realize my mm-hmm. value mm-hmm. people don't actually realize and know how to use me and utilize mm-hmm. me and mm-hmm. you know you get me in that's a challenge because what happens is i have to shrink mm-hmm. to the level of my surroundings yes yes that's my biggest challenge mm. that has always been my biggest challenge yeah 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 so it requires me to double up things mm-hmm. to double up the workforce the work rate mm-hmm. just to prove prove who prove someone who is shallower yeah than me someone who doesn't see what i see i see yeah. get what i mean mm-hmm. someone and also vum later on with ah I, 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 get what i mean yeah. that's a shallow individual so they're killing your vibe they're killing your you know yeah, ability yeah so that, that that that's one of my biggest challenges and mm-hmm. let it be known yeah. and two pale for us career yangi pa good big injection mhm uh industry atiri what do you mean by that industry atiri guy panel for no sikare kuti talent mm-hmm. alone mm-hmm. archa kwani siku ku sustain ku set the next level right. and obviously talent is not all mhm is not everything yeah panenge ba kushanda big mhm right now ola video nda ku enter 50k the dog in do mu pure ma nigerian so shoot o ma video yeah yeah cuz music yacho it is worth that money mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and more music yacho it is priceless already yeah the craft is priceless already so but i'm big money injection in any mm-hmm. business in any endeavor chese chida kuitwa kuti chikure pano require different levels and different levels require different yes. time we shoot a video mm-hmm. ola ema ema dombi in his park shoot kuma video ema two dombi zvichina pamberi in ndikuti zvine zvipaka kuda video 50k mhm sevi ari kushuta whisky dio ndawi dai kuti to to propel growth to the next level mhm kuti video yangu yo iri mu mu bt category yes. you know when yeah. you know computer you get what i mean mm-hmm. and it requires injection right. and from from where we are geographically mm-hmm. where i am geographically i think mm-hmm. it's a disadvantage those monies in the way the economy is mm-hmm. and how the economy is poised yeah via the artist or the artistry or the creative industry mm-hmm. my challenges Yeah. Enough of the things you've seen you've seen all in my career I've done mm-hmm. Ndega. Without any without, you know what without help. support. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Mhm. Oto pull away go to shoot a video go get 50 dombi. Wo shingirira. Cuz sometimes you're taking out of your pocket. Mhm. Oh. You and your people mu yes. some sort of amwe chete. More is like two dombi. Mhm. More is like a four dombi. Wo shoot a video a four dombi. Mhm. But now you get to a point where eh hey, Zashande is the food mm-hmm. dombi. Mm-hmm. I feel like I don't have anything else to offer them. Yeah. Higher is the only road. Una kuna level. Right now nda fanang in river Afro Nation stage ga. Because my Zimbabweans are in the crowd. Yeah. Ikoko. Saka fanang to jamba ji. Tamba manager. Exactly. Saka fanang to tamba nati. But not you good I in the Afro Nation stage. Mm-hmm. People don't understand this. Mm. There is a whole lot of business that goes yeah. behind. Yeah. And the business starts from injections. Mm-hmm. It said that you inject wega. Mm-hmm. And it will take your time. Mm-hmm. And I'm okay with it. This I is real, real talk. I, yeah. I believe in working for real my talk. bread. Because yeah. ndakakura ndi chito tadza kwa na dola. Mhm. Chifamba ni kombi. Yes. And now we at somewhere. Ok famba ni score score yako. Get what I mean? Yeah. We are not exactly where we are where we want to be but mm-hmm. we are somewhere we, we never thought we would be. Yes. And it's gradual. So as long as I hear people saying hey, I don't know how in the kuita level I don't know how to try BT. Yeah. Hey, you've been saying this for five years. Yeah. Good things take time my uh-huh. brother my sister <laughs> be wise. And, and it's, it's a good thing when people wish you to take that BET or they know your pot, that you 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 I'm capable. Capable of doing I'm that. Capable. Yeah. 
but une 100000 ile yenda wega kuma beat abana ubudela ava ana shitaro ati vaka sponsor kwa kuti vaende you have to sponsor yourself to go there kuma beat very very true and it's a big budget yeah and who has that budget kuno geographically now maybe we are in zimbabwe as far as we concerned right now yeah yeah budget you can now see it means it has to come somewhere paka 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 to shot come from somewhere mm-hmm. and the funding here iri kunetsa kufetsha because wana ka wonder i feel like there is disengagement with the corporate world mm-hmm. corporate world doesn't know how to engage mm-hmm. and use artists yes and artists don't know how to engage and use corporates mm-hmm. it's two sided so yes yeah, true so moving on uh, what are your current uh, thoughts on the state of um, the zimbabwe music industry big question wala mm-hmm. you know took his hand <laughs> but the truth has to be said uh-huh. the current state of the music mm-hmm. the current state of the creative space in zimbabwe yeah i will not lie there has been growth mm-hmm. but as ere kuti kana chini chichikura achi sku decrease the quality mm-hmm. there has been growth and there's been a large decrease in the quality mm kaiti no kwanza ngo fly right but they got zero on the plastic material yaka dark mm-hmm. if you are rumwa rumwa ni chishiri mudenga mm-hmm. mevya dona exactly so, 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 so you mean the the music is just that no, the quality is decreasing there has been growth remarkable growth mm-hmm. realization you got we need to mm-hmm. up the standard but, but the, the but the quality the quality has decreased because now pane kamwe ka divorce karibu pane knowledge kuti kune we dribishanzi kama zana rekunzi kupisa mhm rawa ra zvino right mhm because all i know people are waking up kuda kupisa mhm ari kupisa ku kuno kune ndekwe kuri kubatsirana mhm kuri kuisa value pay yeah kuno sustain ikere mhm Saura is in Zagawanda. Mm. We make music for kupisa. If you ask me to kupisa ku kupisa and oh nowadays we have TikTok artists. Mm-hmm. I was watching an interview recently label head seated down. Yeah. TikTok artists we in the TikTok era. Mm. Can't believe if someone goes into the studio and uh, it uh, waste electricity to make a song that mm-hmm. trend for TikTok just mm-hmm. for TikTok. Yeah. Um, that's why when Arura was there Mutukuz mm-hmm. in this era. Yeah. That's why when Arura was there Joe Thomas mm-hmm. in this era. Mhm. That's why when Arura was there Afrobeat and Apisque. Yeah, exactly. In this era. Mhm. Why? Cuz the modern music as much as there's been growth I wonder my artists the industry is grown a growth per capita. Mhm. Antika <laughs> per capita yeah. E even when we grow some wonder. Mhm. My youth are changing life in the music. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. But it's a matter of degree rather than kind. Mm-hmm. Quality at the same time you are decrease. Yeah. That's why Urgo na muna ari kuita 10 more albums ba gore. But 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 in, in Zim who do you say this one is a um, TikTok artist? That's not my question to answer. Ask the fans Ola. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my question to answer. Ask the fans. Yeah. Ask your fans. Ola okay, guys. Uh and then to go for say guys. Who do you think is a tiktok artist in my tiktokers ni ari tiktok tizi ari trend koko ndanani those are those are the guys <laughs> there are artists who, who who got an urge when the tiktok era started mm-hmm. yeah. yeah and uh, we all know what tiktok is doing mm-hmm. it will push among my songs yeah true but i've i've when i ask reality and i got sang na nae everything else you know push kwa music chick tiktok shinenda usually music ya jay comed right is ya jene ngeri fan ni mafan fan ya discuss ma skits exact asana mbona music icho kwala asana mbona music ya bena boy shan discuss skit azite asana mbona music ya bob mali shan discuss skit you get what i mean yeah serious business exactly and that is the cause of concern because pango pache pate chifara i tuku despise kwa for quality level i'm on a music business we have to be serious yeah yes we cannot all be anti tiktok mm-hmm. there must be tiktok artists for for yeah. it to be a functional yeah. uh, for, a, a healthy ground mm-hmm. but we cannot all be tiktok artists yes yeah, true and we cannot all live by the mantra you're a tiktok artist mm-hmm. and we cannot all be pushed 
Kisikwa mu pressure, kisikwa mu fitness ni wana ruga za music for TikTok. Yeah. So artists know yourself. Mm-hmm. Know who you are because I see a lot of youths on the pressure out there. Yeah. Pressure yo ndo sana chitara bape uno shrinka hash reality hash trip. Uno shrinka wo pesa ra wadofo because we're surrounded ni madofo. Yeah. Mm. This is like a superstar mentality. Superstar, you know, maonero. Just be you, just yeah, be you. you do, yeah. If you if you about substance, stick to your substance. Mm. Uh, uh, substance I pope. Yes. But substance keeps people alive. Mhm. Guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Si utava za kawe achicha zidi. You remind me of you but But wana wasu ngotenga hukere. I wana utenga. Kasi huku huku. Huku huku kasi chichi. Chuta chuta. Ai wa chuta tendo buru jona. You get what I mean? Na lopfura. Oise? Yeah. Tuji ka keke ka wana for bed day. Yeah. Kuma ma days asem no dingo ri. Ai wa mai. Ko wai. Mm. Apo za ai wa. No pesa lakufina. Pesa lakufina. So when you make music and that oh. Who do you have in mind? Other artists making great music. Like right now I tell you I love uh, the scene. There's been a great one of those guys who cover scenes that I that I love. I don't like to speak artist names or s- to talk about them cuz you know, but um Killer T man mm-hmm. has taken us through the years. Kananda nyura right now. Ndo chuna tukuterera. Yes. Kuna fan wa guru wa new kama. Doing good things. Mfana we song e so do the zone on the dira exactly i like that song mm-hmm. and the remix did well yeah and everybody was on that mm-hmm. um <sighs> kyla black yeah there's a kid called kyla black mm-hmm. the hip hop cats are doing well mhm are a bar said about the hip hop yes saku make us saku make us sense yeah i love what they doing mhm and i know the quality can increase mm-hmm. the more artists come in the quality increases yeah, our views tanto mm-hmm. wave i love tanto wave mm-hmm. and it chakesh nunzi amasungura cha ari guru vachingi che kufusa sungura exactly yes I, a, i saw that on yeah such a genius mm-hmm. um kids like holy ten mm-hmm. yeah brought significant changes to the industry mm-hmm. i love what he's doing yeah even though sometimes he resorts to controversy a lot and he yeah and also dena dena fano yeah You see but he's a great artist mm-hmm. you cannot take away the artistry from him yeah you know um and he's leading the pack go go hip hop go he's done a lot of disruptive moves that i like and mm-hmm. admire yeah hip hop has brought some heat lately yes ngoma ranga rukita ngi quality mango ma ya dance ya dzikira the music is not so in it's no longer interesting anymore yeah i feel like the people need Yeah. Yeah. Just put it from the mustard seed. Can we just keep that level? It's in a berry. It's in a berry. We cannot <laughs> linger where we Today were before. Yeah, exactly. Is like, yeah. That's why hip hop yeah gain attraction mm-hmm. that, that that period. Yes. I'm true. giving you a proper analysis of how the industry has mm-hmm. been. Mm-hmm. Um while it's at the same time people who have been there known for substantial music, the mm-hmm. legends, the jazz, the Winky Dees, the Feli Nandis, mm-hmm. um the Janet Manyoas, the Tembalamis, mm-hmm. you know the Jemas, the people keep doing quality music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we're in a wave. Yeah. Where people are open to mm-hmm. discovery and mm-hmm. people are open mm-hmm. to embrace new people and new True. cats. Mm-hmm. And my biggest um you know Saint Flora. Saint well. Flora is the man doing well too mm-hmm. i like i like what uh, the, the 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 nash pains himself tenash himself has done with saint flo's brand mm-hmm. you see as as a wise person you always have to acknowledge way pakashan's strategy no shanda strategy chance go bana saint flo works yeah i tell you mm-hmm. i tell you why works. do you, why why do you say so it works cuz it uh, right now valia saint flo appreciate mm-hmm. based on facts your that are confirmed or unconfirmed yes. mm-hmm. you get what i mean mm-hmm. whatever it is that has been done yeah za contributor to the rise brand rage mm-hmm. cannot look at his brand yeah. cheaply mm-hmm. you get what i mean so just see, um, and it's the strategy behind mm-hmm. whatever it is that the nash people are doing nash himself yeah. are doing thumbs yeah. up man i love that mm-hmm. and we should copy that mm-hmm. have you listened to nisha tees yeah i i, I have seen nisha tees what do you think about nisha tees crazy crazy girl i love i love nisha tees <laughs> crazy um latest offering yake e uh she did the, the song she uh-huh. recently did i love uh how she is daring to mm-hmm. try 
sounds mm-hmm. that and you know yeah it would be obvious for a dancer or queen to come in and you know yes. kill us with these things that mm. we are, ca- we are mm. accustomed to yeah but she's coming with a different flair of sound mm-hmm. which is what we need the future is bright for nisha i like yeah. she, she she's she's bold mm-hmm. she's bold given an opportunity would you like to collaborate with nisha tees why not nisha tees is a great artist is a good artist and you know being given the position that i have mm-hmm. it would be also good to 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 give rise yes and, and, yes. and, and, and be part of uh, mm-hmm. his rise uh, yeah. you get what i mean yeah sure yeah mm-hmm. i like that mm. so you know what what impact do you want your music to have on your fans my fans your are, fans my fans are powerful people ola mm-hmm. the goods are right now mm-hmm. not you are terrible now na snabas <laughs> yeah that you are terrible now no asiriku chinja world yeah anyone who listens to natio mm-hmm. is a mover is a shaker mm-hmm. that's the legacy i want to leave for my fans my yeah. fans are powerful people my fans do not give up that's powerful my fans spread positivity mm-hmm. my fans vanu batsira lang with mm-hmm. both tangible and intangible yeah. wealth mm-hmm. my fans are movers my fans are shakers mm-hmm. my fans are Yeah always and you, you, for the never ending pursuit of growth I, I I like that you are regarded as the you know a future of Africa mm-hmm. like like what Potter thinking say mm-hmm. you know the future mm-hmm. of Africa so mm-hmm. what does the future look like for Nati O Ola Seven mm-hmm. I answer you what do you think what does the future what do you, what what what, what Nati O do you see in the next five years No that's why I'm asking you Sure yeah I'm wearing my glasses Ola. Mm-hmm. I'm wearing my glasses. Mm-hmm. Cuz I can't look into the future. Yeah. There's too much light. Mm-hmm. There's just too much light. Wow. Not you always one is was going to be one of the m- most influential mm-hmm. creatives ever to walk on this land. Yeah. Influence mm-hmm. in many ways, in many positive ways, because mm-hmm. influence is not going to get a negative. Yeah, we have a lot of people out there that are influencers. Like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, positive influence. Yes, useful influence. Mm-hmm. Influence that can change the next person. Yeah, influence that can provoke the next brother and sister mm-hmm. to greatness. Yeah, that you is going to be one of the most influential icons ever to ever live in this earth mm. Mm. musically. spiritually mm-hmm. in many aspects brother powerful i'm going to inspire a generation mm-hmm. already i lead a generation yeah i lead a generation of powerful mm-hmm. people hey, i lead a generation all. of enthusiastic youths mm-hmm. a generation of resilient youths youths who believe in themselves youths mm-hmm. who believe good anything can happen yeah. anything is possible you mm-hmm. youths who are determined to go out there and tackle tasks at mm-hmm. at a world level yeah you get what i mean mm-hmm. that's the generation i lead that's mm-hmm. the legacy i leave and that's how you only become as powerful as your vision yeah so that's what i see for myself i like that and uh, you know what i should applaud you for what you've done uh, recently in june you celebrated your birthday by you know paying fees you know for students well done uh, you know and happy be- happy birthday by the way yeah, man, Vigo. <laughs> you turned Vigo. 32 right Vigo, yeah 32 years old and tell me about you know this philanthropic uh, side of Nati O I've always been a philanthropist I've always uh, been indulging in philanthropic mm-hmm. moves even when Tanzania kwani sekupa the next youth dollar yes you know mm-hmm. uh, and I thought the best way to celebrate day that are not the birthday day that are dark about every good day uru celebrate ku kamga ku makori da we are celebrating ku twa ku nunu fa so you cannot celebrate yeah yeah that you celebrate the achievements that mm-hmm. you've done you've before you've done before yeah and how do you celebrate mm-hmm. you make someone's life better, better yeah. by any means necessary mm. i chose to go to mukomba mi high cuz i love mukomba mi high mm-hmm. my friend carrington who is also my photographer yeah took me to mukomba mi high way he attended his you know secondary school mm-hmm. when he wanted to donate sometime he wanted to donate some things yeah i loved it because i was like oh so you're going and you're giving back to the to your former school yes and i and i pledged that you know what since you have brought me to 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 speak mm-hmm. with the kids on this endeavor 
I promise the kids that next time I come through, I'm also gonna give them something. Mm -hmm. You know, last time on my birthday, in collaboration with Chicken In, we did uh, another children's home. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. and I said to myself, it's a nice thing. Yeah. Even if without Chicken In, I wanna do this. Yes. Just take a few dollars mm -hmm. from your pocket. Yeah. Oh, poor someone as Rukwansagmawana. Great. So I went there, I donated the football jersey because mm -hmm. I love soccer. I went mm -hmm. there, I played soccer with the kids. Yeah. Um, I'm still going to get uh, another jersey for, for the females. And I'm going to get my boys. Oh, yes. And I'm going to get my boys. Hey. So I'm still going to uh, give them uh, uh, the female jersey and the volleyball team a jersey. Yeah. Um, and uh, I found a kid mm. who, because honestly speaking, as much as we have our problems mm -hmm. out there, mm -hmm. Very it doesn't true. mean we shouldn't help other people. Mm -hmm. It's the mm -hmm. mark of a powerful man yeah. to help others whilst we have our problems mm. to deal with. That's amazing, uh, Nati. Oh. So before we let you go, Nati, mm -hmm. any advice you have, you know, you'd want to, to give uh, to upcoming artists out there? Upcoming artists? Mm. You can be what you say you are. You can still move like you say you are. Believe in yourself. If you say you're a devil, you are. You say you're a champion, you are. If you say you're a god, you are. If you say you're a loser, you are. If you say you're a winner, you are. You become who you say you are. And you become who you think about daily. Be careful of your surroundings. Life is not short. Mm -hmm. If you spread evil, evil follows you. Yeah, true. Be careful of your surroundings. Be careful. Life that's why you see, and the kwanza kwa mbira maoko ola oga tenga din. Very true. To criticize. Yes. Why? Mm. Because of my surrounding. Mm-hmm. Ewa no angori negative for no reason. Very true. And they usa tap into that energy. Kungo shora. Mm-hmm. Chagi tukwa nemo. Kune tume nonsi aita chagi. The home baron. Hmm. That's very so, very powerful. You know, youths, be wise. Mm-hmm. Realize in within in, in, in live within the mm -hmm. the light. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Um, go maxen, she, just wake up in the morning and yes. desire to inspire the yes. next man. Mm -hmm. Just be a symbol of hope, strength, power. Mm. You know. It's 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 okay. Yeah. It's it's nice mm -hmm. to, to, to be a symbol of strength to someone, mm -hmm. motivation to someone inspiration to someone be mm -hmm. an inspirator inspire people mm. inspire people to chase their dreams inspire people to live to the fullest inspire people to love loving because mm -hmm. at the end of the day love is all we have and love is the answer very true please on our social media mazana i see people doing things for the gram and for the tiktok yes yes, yes. So social I media because people are living for social media and, and, and what's your take on that you know the issue of drugs it's so rampant these days you know our young people are just involved in so these ma, ma, yeah, my youth are pina, stuff. my youth are my drugs and the pressure mm -hmm. Yeah. One, we, do, we no longer have teachers. Mm -hmm. We no longer have teachers. Yeah. And the people no longer believe in the preachers. Mm -hmm. You see? We no longer have teachers and people no longer believe in preachers. Exactly. Oh, we're in a mess. We're in a mess. Mm -hmm. So the youths, I've uh, just seen a good way and we have no one wisdom. Yeah. But no one comfort and hope. Mm -hmm. We need more teachers yeah. in the society. Mm -hmm. Teach them. I would say good sangana ni my problems is yes. not the end of the world. Yes, very true. Jegera pa mm -hmm. permission yako, jegera pa plan yako. Mhm. Mm Things will work if you believe. Yeah. Kuna mungu sio kuna kuitika nas. Doesn't mean kwa ura zitik. Very true. You watch no gonna try today and tomorrow and still fail. Mm -hmm. But doesn't mean you don't have to try the third time. Mhm. Mm jegera is the right. word of the season. Very true. So that's what I say. My youth are going to be in the through pressure. Mm -hmm. Pressure is social media. You yes. see someone, what's going to be in the pressure? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Then you want to buy into that. End up stealing. Yes. End up doing, indulging in all sorts of immorality just to please people. Mm -hmm. One thing that is so alarming that is happening nowadays, people are going broke trying to please. Yes. 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 You can say that again. Going broke, trying to please. 
akutenga zvinhu zvauso kwaso ko afoda mari dza kupera inopera what is show inopera inopera don't uh, I, like man mm. who should you please <laughs> why are you living to please people <laughs> yeah it's like you're living for people you see mm. but people are going mind us in zao so i encourage you to spread positivity yeah yes negativity is there mm-hmm. we shouldn't be friends we yeah. industry more. we shouldn't be but at the end of the day you mm-hmm. cannot be evil for the rest of your life very true what you send out there mm-hmm. comes back to you back. yeah very true thank you so much uh, Nati, for coming through you know um i really enjoyed this interview and i hope our fans did too so any parting remarks as we shut down this um interview Natio is bringing new music soon. Mm-hmm. I've been relaxed. Cuz honestly speaking, I gave you the mustard seed, my fans. I gave you the cornerstone. Mm-hmm. Cornerstone which is some beautiful mm-hmm. body of work yeah. beyond our time. Muchaibata zvinyavo because toga ndozia. Yeah. Toga rataka nonoka zviri kuonera. Exactly. But I gave you cornerstone, I gave you mustard seed. Mm-hmm. And you're still telling me that the mustard seed is still the album of the year. Mm-hmm. So why should I release the al- other album mm-hmm. when you're still telling me that the master still is still the album like, mm-hmm. isn't it you said it yeah. so and in a pressure to release the album I might as well wait consume use that music mm-hmm. use that music yeah use that music for um, good I'm going to watch it I'm going to release it I'm going to push it to touch it Kupera kadurumerwa kuremerwa njuga dziri kupisa ama wedza ulata uri in our presence yeah wedri kuti kupera ari mumu dictionary mangu wedri kuti kuremerwa ari mumu dictionary mangu right mumu dictionary mangu munowanika wedri kuti reluctancy how do you say in the pair and the usain bolt mm and in the record holder yeah how do you discredit me <laughs> and madima says see this still the album yeah so i'm the record holder Mm-hmm. I have the leeway I can relax. Atina chekumanyira. Titiribo. Thank you so much my brother and people can follow you on uh, your platforms. That's what ABX Natio Twitter. Mm-hmm. ABX Natio or oh, Twitter yakunzi X. X, yeah. X. Yeah. yeah. ABX Natio on Instagram, mm-hmm. Natio the boy on Facebook. Mm-hmm. And people, like I said, the new music is coming. I've been cooking. I'm yeah. working on my album. Yeah. We drop the album next year. Uh, this year couple of singles coming your way yeah the guy also decide the foot no no go but the album right ripo yeah that guys are right but new music coming like i said good music takes time yes i'm not in the process ego rasha in the name of god i'm at what an interview a long and lengthy interview uh, I'm, i'm sure it was worth it you know uh, having time with uh, nati o on this platform on the all of seven podcast shop on the spot i'm sure you understand i mean you get to a lot of things about nati o probably i mean another perception impression different you know my own hero but right now i'm sure my wife is who nati o is uh, many thanks nati o for coming through and i hope to see you you know doing the most in the near future hoping to be with you when you go when you grow bigger when you go far we'll be there with you Twenty life time. Twenty lifetime. lifetime. We'll be here, Ola. Thanks for having me. Yeah. I enjoyed the conversation. At least. Yeah. But I wonder my questions. I am sure. Yeah. I want this. Yeah. Mm. You've done other interviews before. And going to end on my interview because <laughs> I don't like. Uh, yeah and the farire scope and the one among my interviews. My interviews, yeah, true. It's like you cannot. I was going to phone out the. No matter what, man. Yes. And on the phones out in the top 5 yeah go my artists you know the you know kunda ni like you know that like that that's shallow. The quality of 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 conversations we should employ yeah mm-hmm. man the quality of in conversations we should employ. Yeah. So it all goes in zedu ziende. Exactly. At least let someone a singa tawere language in uh-huh. hands we see say skutawo. Bab. True. Let someone ari kunzo I the appreciation of the yes. conversation. Yes. We cannot be merely making interviews for yeah. our own people yeah, no. two gazera product that da kuzvi cha mudin so i go no gazera product we are shanza mudin mako we going in the number one product we going international that's the yeah. thing going international so international go. is the goal so i go thank you so much guys my name is dj ola 7 owen we come out on signing out until next time bye bye
Every dollar sent home from the diaspora by your loved ones represents their hard work and commitment to ensuring that you're all taken care of. That's why we want to ease their experience and make it more convenient. With Sasai Money Transfer, sending money from the diaspora is free and you receive the money straight into your EcoCash USD wallet, ready for you to spend and cash out for free. That way, you can receive money to help you alleviate the impact of the drought on you and your family. Buy groceries, pay school fees, renew your insurance, pay bills and more within a few taps on your phone. And you're guaranteed access to USD cash from any registered EcoCash outlet nationwide. Tell your family in the diaspora to send money with Sasai Money Transfer today. Let's fight the El Nino-induced drought together. EcoCash. Live life the EcoCash way. It's the little things that make us giants in our industry. We put in that extra mile of service so your car can go that extra mile of performance. Our aim is to make our stopovers feel like home. Giant Petroleum. Limitless Energy.